foremost, I'd like to give all acknowledgement, honor, and glory to Yahweh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of you Israelites. A double honors to the apostles and elders of DMS that have taught us this truth. That's right. And shalom on to you faithful brothers out there pushing this word, the sincerity and truth. And may Yahweh bless your house. So we're going to go, the Lord has set before our people the way of life and the way of death. So we're going to start off with Jeremiah uh, chapter uh, 21 and verse 8. Jeremiah 21 and 8. And unto this people thou shalt say, Thus saith, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. And the way of life is Yahweh Shai. He said, I am the way, I am the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but unto me. So Yahweh Shai is the way of life. And the scripture says, Seek ye the Lord and live. That's right, Ox. So got, this is life right here. That's right, Ox. I got one for you, Ox. It's uh, Proverbs 8 38. For whosoever, or for whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Yeah, you got people out here thinking they're finally living life because of money. No, you start living when you come back to your power. You come back to your heritage. That's when your life really begins. Right? When you seek your haubah shimi I was shot. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, Wrong of his own soul, all they that hate me love death. Yep, that's that's the way of uh, uh, death. And our people, they hate the Lord, so they're, they're automatically choosing the way of death. Yep. Yep. Because the Lord said, if you love me, you'll keep his commandments. Right. You know? And, and um, that goes into uh, Yahweh Shai, because the Lord said, Hear he him, this is my beloved son, who I am. I'm well pleased. Please. That's right. Huh? And what did Yahweh Shai command uh, his men to do? Feed his sheep. That's right. Yep. You love me, feed my sheep. You got it. Huh? You know? yeah. He that abideth in this city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. But he that goeth out and falleth to the Chaldees. That's so the, the way of death is. You being judged by Yahweh by Shimeon Shai by the judgments that he has set for our people. Like he did in the time when uh, our people went into the Babylonian captivity. Alright? He that abideth in this city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. But he that goeth out and falleth to the Chaldeans that besiege you, he shall live, and his life shall be unto him for prey. Uh, uh, I got something real quick. Deuteronomy uh, 11 and 26. It says, Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Right. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh, your power, which I command you this day, and a curse if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, your power. But turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known. So at that time, our people chose the way of death. And look, look what happened to us. We went into captivity, we fell away from our heritage. And look how destroyed our people are because they didn't choose life for right. the Lord offered them an option. Even though, you know, we know it's the Lord's movie. Right. You know, our people really don't have a choice, just like a movie character. You know, a choice is given, but it's all scripted. You know, and our people chose death, but what's to come right now, the Lord is offering life and death. That's right, Ox. And the judgment is gonna be like, like it tells you in uh, Daniel, a time never seen uh, since a nation. Right. Hey, bro, that's why it says, um, Give diligence right. that you're calling and election be sure. That's the only thing that we could do is give diligence to this word, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all you could do. Because right, the Lord says, reaping righteousness, and, I mean, uh, sowing so, uh, righteousness, righteousness and reaping, reaping mercy. So we're hoping the, the works that we're doing by giving diligence, we can reap mercy. Find favor. Find mm -hmm. favor. Huh. You know, like we read though, the Lord said, all them that uh, 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 make, find all of that kind of uh, life 
All of them, I forget exactly how it went. Damn it. Proper, we just, we just read it, man. All of them that fight me, fight of life, you know? I got a precept, though. I don't know if all, all the elect, you know, uh, find, this, uh, find Yahweh Shai. Because the scripture says, my sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. Alright? Uh, Job 33 and 4. The Spirit of the Most High hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. See, the Spirit of the Lord has made me, not no woman, no no one to be given credit for Yahweh Shemel Shai. And he gave us the breath of life, which is this truth. You know? The truth is the breath of life. We're no, we live, you know? we're no longer them dry bones. We got right. sinews and, um, uh, how do you know? Uh, Huh? Say again? We don't like the dry bones, we got the sinews, the um, yeah, sinews, flesh, flesh, yeah. We know who we are. Which which that's you know, knowing who you are. But then our breath is that, you know, yeah, that knowledge exactly. wisdom understanding right there. Okay. And all camps ain't got that breath. Right. Yeah. But they know who they are. Right. But yeah, just like in the time of Adam, right? The Lord uh uh uh, uh breathed life into him, he became a living soul. As the scripture said, you know. So that's a happy script for me to get out. Oh, you dropped it? Never mind, never mind. I got a piece there. So this is John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Beautiful. Yahweh Shai, go ahead. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I. Nah, because uh, uh, Yahweh Shai said he had to leave them. If you can call for a few verses. He said, the way we don't know, you know? And that was the outside of the fight, he called for the uh, John 14 and 1, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house right, are because many- because you can't get to the Heavenly Father without Yahweh Shai. He's the mediator, man. You know, that's why he's, it's good to say, he's up there confessing certain names to the Father, and he's denying certain names to the Father, <clears throat> right? He said, if you deny me before men, I'll deny you to, to the Father, man. Yeah. So Yahweh Shai is that, that mediator, man. Go right. ahead. And you got men out here denying him before men. Completely okay. denying him. Completely. Like but, he's nobody. But who is the Heavenly Father sitting back? Yahweh Shai. Right. So if you're denying the Lord, you're denying your way out of here, man. Go ahead. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. you know, speaking of the many planets out there, man. You know, it's, 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 it's so many planets, you can't put a number on it, man. The scriptures say the Lord is, uh, he stretches the heavens as a curtain. Uh, so it's, it's, it's constantly expanding. Go ahead. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That's right. That where I am, there ye may, there ye may be also. Right, and the Lord ain't forgot about us, man. He gonna come back and get his, man. Go ahead. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. See, this is the part. Whether I go, you know, and the way you know. Go ahead. Thomas says unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Mm. And how Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Ooh. So the only way you could approach the Heavenly Father is to be Yahweh Shai. That's it. And what did Yahweh Shai say? Blessed are the pure, but they shall see the most high. That's right. And who's going to make us pure? Yahweh Shai himself, when he comes and delivers us. And he saves us from the vile bodies that we're in. He says, make them all white in the blood of the Lamb. Right. And Yahweh Shai will make pure. You know? That's right. The Lord willing to, to be able to see Yahweh's face, to sit in the throne room. This is Deuteronomy um, 30, we'll start at 15, it says, see, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil in that I command thee this day to love the Lord, Yahweh thy power, Bashim Yahweh Shai, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and right. his statutes right. and his judgments that thou mayest livest and multiply and to the Lord, Yahweh thy power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day 
that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land with the thou with the thou passes over Jordan to go to possess it. That's what happens. Yep. Yeah, that's what happened to us, man. We can't sell them curses, man. Still pulling on them curses. All because we didn't we wasn't obedient to the Lord. But like the brother brought out, that was all a part of the Lord's plan. The creature was subject to vanity. Not willingly, you know. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Mm. So all the Lord wanted us to do was adhere to his commandments and statutes. That's life. Yeah. All right, death is what? Not keeping the commandments, transgression mm -hmm. uh, the law. You know, uh, like it says in Romans, sin is a transgression of the law. Right. You know, and, and, and when you commit sin, that brings forth death. And that's what our people have chose. Our people chose to do death because they're not keeping the law and set the commandments. Because mm -hmm. opposite what the Lord told us to do. Because the Lord, when he um, breathed the breath of life into Adam, those were the law, statutes, and the commandments, man. Okay? And that, that was the way of life. Okay? And anything outside of that is death. I got a... Uh, and now, yeah, Abu Shah is the, the way now. Right. Not, not just the commandments. That's why we brought out. I am it's the way. The commandments. I am yeah. the life. Like, you got to follow Yahweh Shah now. And who has the spirit of Yahweh Shah? It's men. The spirit of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. So I'm... you're supposed to follow men that are in the prophetic spirit. You know, condemning this place. Yeah, and the shepherds, man. Huh? Got one. It's uh, Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You see? And our people have left off from life. So now they're in the congregation of the dead, man. It says, Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. And the scripture says, You are children of the day and children of the light. We're not of them of the, the night, nor of darkness, all right? Be illuminated, like the brother said, like the scripture said. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Ezekiel 37 and 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And that valley is, 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 is America, man. It's getting tough. You know? Full of bones. That bones represents the people. Yeah. Mainly uh, the Israelites. Right? What are you talking about? The valley is a low land. Right. And the scripture say what? Though I walk through the valley, uh, valley of the shadow of death. Right? People are lost out here. They, just, they have no recollection of who we are. Because right? yep. when you think of bones, what do you think of? Death. Yeah, death. The only time you see someone bones is even when they're dead. Yeah. And all people are spiritually dead. Like they're destroyed for lack of knowledge. They, don't, they, they understand that covering cast, you know, that uh, Jesus, that Jesus peace. That's who our people are following. That's not the truth. That's not the breath, you know? And, that, and that, that, that's good for talking about all of us, man. Yeah. We're all in that dead state. We're all dry bones, man. Yeah. You know, it's good to speak of uh, uh, three days and a half, you know? Right. The hand of the Lord was upon me, carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which is full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there are very many in the open valley and lo they're very dry yeah very many very many in the open valley man our people are everywhere out here man you see our people coming down this is ventura boulevard you know upscale area you still see our people go downtown la our people down there as well man that's why scripture say go off to the highways and the byways man be, to meet our people face to face, man. But there, there are so many of us in this land. And before 1969, when Abba, as soon as Abba Bivens got on the scene, that breath, that spirit came into us. We finally knew who we were as a people. You know, we finally knew the name of our power to call back on him, to repent on him. The Lord said he would turn his back against the people until they acknowledge the offenses. And now we're trying to uh, um, 
kiss the sun, let's see be angry. Now we're trying to make an uh, amendment for all our wrongs. You know? Right, that goes into that three years and a half that brothers talk about, that time, time and a half a time. Right? 250 years from when we first landed here in America up until roughly around 1970, when the Abba Bibbins came on the scene and started preaching the word, the truth of it. And then roughly around 2000, that's when the apostles hit the internet. And, and then it just seven. went, that's right, and it just went worldwide at that point. Yeah? Good to say, Fabian Flores. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord Power, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord Power unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Wow. Now the Lord has us prophesying unto the nation of Israel. You know, now we're prophesying your heritage, your nationality, who you are, the source, the source. Like they always say, if you want to know where you're going, you got to know your, 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 um, your where path, you come from. where you come from. Yeah. And now the Lord is telling you who you are. How could you deny being a prince of the power? Who don't want to be a prince of the power, man? Because Esau then put in their heads that they're African, they all these other nations, they put it in the heads of like the northern kingdom that they're their own king, you know? So they want to cleave to that, especially the Africans. And they're really retarded, you know, because once our people see the, the way that the Africans act, their mannerism, and you ask them, yo, you do this, first thing they say, no, I ain't doing that. You gonna put a plate in your lip? You know, you gonna put your head under the butt of a, a cow? Of a cow? Uh -huh. You know, I just seen that on on, on, a, on Instagram. The the African dude, he had his face all up. He was blowing in the in the rectum of the cow. Blowing had his whole face up in it. Yeah. And then went when he finished, he went to the cows and let the cow lick his face. You know. Yeah, man. Our spirit just doesn't vibe with those other nations, man. You yeah. watch any of those documentaries, you know, National Geographic, you're not going to vibe with that shit. Yeah. And they care about you. Where were, where were they petition, petitioning for you when you was in slavery? Right. What up? Hey, they're the one that sold us into slavery. That's right. right bro. I used to always wonder that when I was uh, when I was in junior high. I wondered, because you know they were teaching slavery history. And I was wondering, why did Africans never came over here and uh, try to rescue us? Right. Oh, exactly. That's what Levi did when they took over uh, Haiti back from the French. Their, their plan was to go to uh, to America to rescue the the the, the, the Judites. See? Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, that shows brotherhood right there. We we have no we have no uh, we have we're closer to the white man than we are the Africans. As far as being a race of people, you know, these are twin brothers. Yeah, man, exactly. You know, and them Africans is hermetic. Hemetic, which means hot or burnt. That's why they so dark, you know? The Lord put the that, yeah, the Lord put that uh that signal on them, that sign on them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they call this all type of by words, Negro, black, which means evil, wicked, synonymous with like bitter and all type of negative connotations. Yeah, you wanna be that instead of the prince of the power? Right. I don't know, man. That shows you that these other nations, you know, they don't have the crown. They're the bastards, but they don't have the law. They don't give them the law. That's why they're out here running wild. That's why they do the things that they do. I, I got to say that. Uh, Exodus 11 and 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a, man, shall not a dog move his tongue. Who are the dogs? The heathens. Against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Yeah, you put in a, a difference. You know, people know an African from a quote unquote African American. You know, that's why those Africans, when they travel, they always try to act like they're us, you know? But the women over there, you know, when Jake goes overseas, man, he gets those girls overseas, man. You know, Edomite women, the Asian women, they all love Jake overseas. Mm -hmm. So when the Africans go over there, they try to pretend to be us so they can do with those women, but those women don't want to fuck with them like that. You know? Wow. I heard, I heard about that. But you know, because the most I put it different. You can easily tell the Negro from these other nations, from the Semitic nations. Right. 
Yeah. Because what it says, Romans, spirit bear witness who are the children of the Most High. Right. That's why you don't see any real famous Africans. Where the, 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 they're so good, where are their famous athletes that's famous throughout the world? Okay, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, Michael, uh, Michael uh, Tyson, all of them, they famous throughout the world. Okay, as far as being athletes and entertainers, you know, because like the scripture just said, the Lord put a difference between us, man. We have more talent than them, man. We are better than them. Way better than them. We got the flavor. We got the flavor, we got the flavor of the earth. Right. We're the salt of the earth. You know? You get some grits and try to eat some grits without salt. <laughs> you know? That's terrible. Yeah. It's crazy yeah. because every food they cook, you know, a metaphor, every food they cook, they put uh, salt on there. Right. Exactly. It's just like putting us up. We got to add the Israelites on it too. Exactly. You got to add us into everything. And everything that succeeds here in America, it has Jake in it, okay? When they want to push a new product, who do they use? They use Jake, okay? When they want to bring something down, who, who they use? They they use Jake, man, okay? Jake is the face of everything Everything. Now. Former of all things, correct? Yeah. Former. Yeah, the only good music come out of Africa is what? The African piece. That's, that's Benjamin. Right? Yeah, that's, nice. that's, that's, that's the West Coast African, right? Benjamin put that out. Right. right along with the reggae, you know? Yeah. And, and naturally, these heathens are feminine. You know, Jake, even though we're so gossip, we're destroyed right now, Jake got that masculine energy that these women love. You know what I mean? Back in Ezekiel 37 and 5, Thus said the Lord, power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you. Cover you with skin and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Now we, we have the breath of life. We have the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai, which is this knowledge, knowing our heritage, knowing our power. You know, this is a beautiful thing. You know, knowing who you are and the source, and that you're connected to the Heavenly Father and His Son. Out of everybody in the earth, you have a special place. You're an apple of the heavenly father's eye, man. That's why that's why Esau came up with a dang on what is the preamble to the constitution. He says that all men are created equal. Okay. Yeah. That's Esau saying that. The Lord didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy uh what 14? 1 and 2. See boy, when he said he lying. Exactly. What was that energy in slavery? Uh, white supremacy. Yeah. See, you're equal after slavery because Esau knows damn well you're not equal. You ain't nothing to an Israelite man. Hey, uh, I got a, I got a piece of going to you. Uh, he looks like he's like, uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 1. It says, O oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye. Buy and eat, yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. So yeah, when we first came into this truth, man, we were woken up like that brother said, you know, starting with the uh, uh, Abba Fittins, Elder Abba Fittins. All right, you know, and that woke us up to a state, you know, where, you know, we were in a dead state, you know, and it brought us back to life. All right, you know, and like it says, man, uh, like the scripture say, man, uh, freely was it given unto you, freely shall you give. So that's why it says, you know, wherefore do you spend money? For that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfy not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good. All right, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. It says, incline to your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make... Hear, and your soul shall live. Yeah. yeah. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Sure mercies of David and all the elect are gonna receive the sure mercies of David. Yeah. Alright? I got a quick piece up for you now. This is the Proverbs 23 and 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. Mm -hmm. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Hey, yeah. for, for the camp, you, you camps out there. Buy the truth and sell it not. You you you're not supposed to be charging men fee to I get the truth, to watch a video about the Lord and about the scripture.
confused what the hell are you doing, man? They give you the to break down, so you got to go on Patreon and buy the other half. No, it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, you freely got it. You're supposed to freely give it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's a higher one, yeah. Right. Well, because she's floating, trying to get money. Right. Yeah. Trying to, try to rip that flesh back off of people. Yeah. Trying to put people back in that, 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 that bone, that dry bone state. Yeah. Yeah. Fake profits out here, man. Yeah, making the most high house. House of, uh, what do they call it? Merchandise. Merchandise. House of merchandise. Good. Yeah. Okay, even using our people themselves as the merchandise, you doing that by selling them the truth. Yep. Okay, because you know how how our people they they hunger for knowledge, man. Right. Okay. Yeah, I know I want to sell miracles, man. Exactly. Like <laughs> <in the> three <laughs> miracles right here. <laughs> you can get them all. I'm, I'm giving away for five dollars. Hey, look at this. In the book of Acts, Simon, the guy that uh, did witchcraft, he tried to buy the Holy Spirit, man. You know, Peter got on this, Peter rebuked him, man, for that, man. Yeah. You know, I think you better repent and ask for forgiveness, you know, because what he did was, what he, what he, what he said was very wicked, thinking that he could buy the Holy Spirit, you know, to, to heal people. I got a precept on uh, going into that, man. You're not supposed to sell this, uh, this word, this truth, man. There's uh, the book of First Peter, chapter 5, verse 2. It says, feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking oversight thereof. Not by constraint, but willingly. Willingly, free will, you know, voluntarily. That's why the scripture says we present our body as a living sacrifice. Yeah. It says not for filthy lucre, but a be ready mind. Not for money. Yeah. Come on, uh, uh, the truth shall set you free. It, it's a blessing that you are selected. It's, it's a blessing that you came into the understanding of this truth and you're out here trying to sell it. All right, just just to make a profit out of them, man. That goes to show you where your mind is. All right? Hey, this is the truth says the truth shall set you free. But if you're selling the truth, you're not, you're not letting the truth set people free. It says, neither as being lords over the Most High's heritage, but being examples to the flock. All right? And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Like you said, uh, like it's, it's selling the truth, uh, Right. Uh, the truth has to be free. Yeah, sell no. the truth. Yeah, sell the truth, the truth shall make you free. When you sell the truth, you're not gonna tell 100 percent of yeah. the truth. Because yeah. if you tell 100 percent of the truth, your congregation, a lot of them are gonna get offended. Because this word, this book, this word offends people, man. Yeah. So these these these, these Jakes have to sell out that there's, you know, like you said, in the book of Titus, uh filthy lucre, filthy lucre state. Yeah. Like, uh, and like our apostles and elders brought it out, you know, a while ago, man. You know what these churches they receive is that 501c tax exemption, man. Me me meaning they hold back, you know, certain things of the truth in order to, you know, be exempt, you know, get paid from them. Right. Yeah. yeah. I got. I got. So he says the leader of our people has caused them to error. Yeah. They're purposely setting a, a trap for you, dicks, man, just for money. Yeah. I got a piece set. This is Titus one and. And nine, it says, holding fast the faithful word as, as he has been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayer. And the scripture says, continue in the things which thou hast learned. Continue in the pure truth, man. Just the truth, the 100%, 44% knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you have learned from the apostles. You ever see the apostle or elder that's trying to sell a CD or uh, a sweater or a shirt? Hell no, man. They've been given the truth freely. You know, continuing it. So there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. For money, the Lord said they gotta be, they gotta be shut up. They gotta be silenced. Yeah, making deals with the devil. You know, you're not gonna teach your congregation to hold you. You know, you're gonna, you're not gonna teach in the name of Yahweh, but you know, shy. You're not gonna tell your congregation what the, what the chip is. You know, you're not gonna, the, what, uh, you know, the MOTB is. You're not gonna tell your congregation what, what's to come. You know, you may even tell your congregation not to talk about making make it, man. 
You know, all all for filthy lucre's sake, all for all for money, all just to make money, man. Okay. It's like people said, money is the root of all evil. The love of money. Yeah. The love, love of it. money. Yeah. I got a piece of. Um, I was bringing up earlier. It's Isaiah 52 and one. Because these people say money is a defense, man. Right. right. Money is necessary, man. So it's not it's money. Money ain't evil. It's what people do for money that's evil. Right. That's yeah. Yeah. It's just right. like a gun. A gun is evil. Weapon, yeah. yeah, a weapon is an evil. Yeah. You could use the same knife to gut a fish and eat food. Yeah. Or you could use a gun to defend yourself. Exactly. Hey, you got the Esau saying, well, guns are killing people. Well, the gun wake up and try to shoot? Nah, it's the one that controls the gun. Mm -hmm. I got yeah, a piece of And, and the same guy. thing goes with the truth, okay? The, the, the messenger with the truth is responsible, you know, with this truth on how he, how he gives it out. Okay, if he's gonna come with deception, you know, give part of the truth, you know, because that's what our people are doing right now, especially in these camps, man. They give you part, partial truth, yeah. you know. Don't give you the whole, the whole thing that's necessary for your salvation, man. Okay. That's why the scripture says, "I have not shunned to tell you the truth." And we're gonna get yeah. that scripture. That's why that one cat that I had came up there. He didn't know shit. You know? So you say he's been in the seven years. Whatever he said, he a fucking liar. Six years. I don't believe shit he said. He didn't know nothing, you know? Right. Fucking punk. It's a Go ahead, I'll get a piece of it. It's Isaiah 52 and 1. Awake, awake. Put on, my, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. And what, what is the garment the beautiful garment represents? Represents his truth. All right. That's our strength as well, you know. We don't have any strength in any other thing, man, but this truth, man, okay? Right. It says, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. And it said, what? Jerusalem, the holy city. Holy meaning separate, okay? So now, if everybody could be saved, how is that separate? How could it be separate? Okay, if everybody can come in now to this truth and everybody can be partakers of the second covenant, how can it be holy? Okay? Holy is separate, man. We're separate from these other nations. The Lord, is, He don't change. Okay? He, he never put Israel out as His people. He said, if the sun, the moon, and the stars, if those things, they change their ordinances, then the Lord Himself, He would, he would stop from being uh, Israel from being a nation, man. And that ain't gonna never stop. No, right. That ain't gonna stop Esau from trying, you know? That's why he's out there. That's why he's out in space. That's why he's in the ocean. Trying to offset his prophecy. Esau knows the truth. He's limited. The yeah. Lord gave it that. It's a boundary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Verse 2, last verse. It says, Shake thyself from the dust. Right, because we, when we're supposed to wake, we're supposed to shake ourselves from the dust. That confused, not knowing who we are. Are not knowing who our God is, we're supposed to shake ourselves from that, man. Right. Shake off all the iniquities off of us. Okay? It says, Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Because what did the scripture say? In John, through the 8th chapter, how are we going to loose ourselves? What looses ourselves? Mainly our minds. The truth. Because the truth shall make you free, like it's mentioned in John. Right, so that's how, we, that's how we set ourselves free. By believing in this truth, by awakening to our, who we are and coming back to our heritage, man. And that's the I'm sorry, I'll, that's the Lord that does that. You know, and, and none of us decided to do to, to none of this. It's all all from the Lord, man. And that's the Lord got to open your eyes. The Lord got to give you faith. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's the gift. Yeah, it's you know. the same thing because it says, if Yahweh Shai set you free, you shall be free indeed. Only Yahweh Shai can set you free. You know, it's not no choice. That's what it is. So John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you mm. and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. And this thing is all about being elected, being chosen. Mm. Only the elect uh, um, is going to be able to do this work and bring him fruit. You know? Right, so you have chosen me, I've chosen you. Right. Walk with the Spirit of you. 
no danger to come out here and use work for. I got one going back to the bed, not bad. Put on that garment. This is uh, Joe 29 and 14. I put on righteousness and he clothed me. My judgment was as a rose and a diadem. You know? So this truth is like an outfit, a righteous outfit. You know? An armor. That's right. That's why the scripture says, feet shod with the gospel. You got the girdle on of righteousness. I believe that's what it says. They said, put on the whole armor of the Lord, yeah, that you may be able to stand the fiery darts of the devil, of Satan. Right. You know what I'm saying? The whole armor, man, everything. Yeah. All right? And, and it's given to us, man. All right? And whether or not you pick it up and put it on, that's up to you. All right? These other groups would have you not to put it on. Oh, you don't need faith. These are faith-based Israelites. Y'all faith-based Israelites. You don't need that. You don't need faith. It's already been said we're going to be saved, so you don't even need that. What? Hey, okay. Hey, hey. Yeah, Howard Shai said, it said this a lot in the scripture. O oh, ye little faith, and your faith hath made thee whole. Mm -hmm. All right? Which goes to show you the importance of faith. You know? Yeah, Howard Shai, when, when, when you, had, you had this account, of this, in the scriptures of Luke, this guy he was like he was oh, short sorry. of stature and he wanted to see you, shy So he did his best. He couldn't see him because of the crowd. Okay. So he went up on a tree uh, to see you, shy And shy said, "Come down, call him." You know, because he was showing great faith, man. Even with the woman that had the the the, 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 the sickness for many years, the, the, the continually bleeding. And, and um, she said, "If I just touch this garment, yeah. I'll be healed." Yeah, I wish I felt like he felt the virtue left him. Yeah. Who touched me? <laughs> Peter was like, everyone's touching Lodi. You know, you know, everyone's touching me. But like, nah, he felt a virtue left him because that woman with the act that she just showed great faith. Yeah. You know? That was her faith. Right. Touching it. When she did, when she touched him, she was she was healed right there in that in that instant. Yeah, you know? Right. Yeah. Like the brother said, man, because she believed she had faith that that right. was And we represent that woman. Only when you touch the Lord's garment, and close to the Lord. Even uh, that guard, I believe it was one centurion, he had a servant that was sick, and he called you, how was shy? He said, how was shy? You know, I, I, I'm not worthy to have you in my house. Just give, me, give me your word. Uh -huh. You know, and, 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 and that's all I need is your word. And, and, and by that, him, how was shy said, thou shows great faith, man. There's so many accounts which shows you how how important it is to have faith, you know? Without the whole book. The whole book is about faith. Yeah. Right. right. Oh, Abraham. Uh his righteousness. You no, know, his his faith was counted as righteousness, man. What are you other camps talking about when you say uh, when you say that oh you faith faith is is like man? You don't read Hebrews eleven? You don't read accounts of our forefathers, how they believed in the most high? That's why Yahweh said these uh the, the wicked uh, Pharisees, they omit the, what is it? Weightier, the weightier letters of the law. Judgment, judgment, mercy, and faith. faith. Yeah. Or says, I have the faithful mustard seed. We should be able to move mountains, man. Right. And, and them dudes that are coming back as the scribes and Pharisees, omitting uh, judgment and faith. Yeah. You know? They don't want nobody to believe in Yahweh Shai. That's why when they apprehended the, the disciples, they were like, preach not in this name no more. Uh, man, I forgot yeah. how he goes, but so pretty much they commanded them not to preach in the name. Yeah, kind of. They pretty much told them to denounce their faith. Right. And they were set up to be witnesses and to, to, to proclaim what they what they saw and what they learned from Yahweh yeah. Shai. I got one going back to the garments. This is uh, Revelation 19 and 6. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters. As the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, the Lord power omnipotent reigneth. Sorry, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife hath made herself ready. This is the election, all right? And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Ooh, spiritual garment, man. That's it. Made them so white in the blood no, of the man. Lamb. 
you know, and your legs, the legs are going to be pure, that, that bride that's adorned for the Lord, you know, all decked out for the marriage. I can't, uh, I don't know. That was it on that. It says, uh, this is, uh, book of Galatians 4 and tw no, 3 and 23. It says, but before don't faith came, we no, 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 were no, no. kept hey. under, the, under the law, hey, Benjamin. shut up shut into the, the faith up. which should hey. afterwards be revealed. That's not your place. Keep reading, bro. Keep reading. Shut the fuck up. And it says, book, uh, no. verse 23. Uh, but before up, faith, we're kept no. under the law. No. To, shut up unto the no. faith, which no. should afterwards be no. revealed. Wherefore no. the law was our no. schoolmaster. Black man, tell him about it. No. Time, no. No. We might be justified no. by faith. No. See, by faith. No. That's the fucking. No. no we bro. were kept under the no. law. You don't gotta pray. Hey, read it again. I read you again. don't got the place to read It's Galatians no. 3 and 24. Wherefore the law was no. our schoolmaster no. to bring us unto Yahweh's no. side. So the law, the law was a guide to keep us in no. order. To Yahweh's side. No. Bring you to the love of the Lord. Yeah, yeah it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. To bring us unto no. Yahweh's side that we might be justified by faith. That's it. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey you're gonna have to step back. Yeah. You're gonna have to step back. Go back to the shade. Go back to the shade. Keep reading. That thing will leave. That thing will leave. Keep reading. You have all the shade. You have all the shade. Keep reading, Art. My whole life, I hurt myself. Just but after the faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. I don't fucking respect you. Read again. You don't listen to all women. Look at me. Read the verse again. Yeah, come, come. It's verse 24 again. It says, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. To bring us unto Yahweh's shine. To, to bring us under Yahweh's shine. It says that we might be justified by faith. By faith. Like our forefather Abraham. Our faith is going to be accounted by unto faith. us for righteousness. That's why when Yahweh's shine comes back. He said, don't he said shall, I, uh, shall I not find faith on earth? I don't say no. And these I men are going to get beamed up because of their faith. Right. You don't say hi back. I wonder why is that. I'm not a picking in because I'm not picking in. Body. Okay. It says, but verse 25. But after the faith is come, ah! we are no longer in, under a schoolmaster. They're lying to you. Which is uh, they're going lying to the world. They're lying to you. It's not your place. Hey, they're kissing your ass so they can get you, what yeah. they want. They don't love themselves. You're not supposed to read. No, tell him no. For ye are the children of the Most High. By faith, no, I'd like to hear a black man read. We are the children of Yahweh. I'd like to hear a black man read. No, no. Okay, Asher, bye. Keep going. You want to go to seven? Yeah, come. No. For as many of you have been baptized in Yahweh, he's my man. Those are my men, right? So I can tell him yes, the fuck many I want. of you have been baptized no, with this water, with let this Let Benjamin, word. let Benjamin shut you, up. Too. You need to be baptized no. by this word. Just the rest, like our rest of our people. No. I mean, like, not the same. Oh, okay. This is uh, verse 28. And it says, put, it says, in, in the Mashiach. That's the only way you're going to be baptized. And you What's up, y'all? This is Leah B. about. And, um, yeah. where's Sherman Oaks? Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. For as many of you have been baptized, don't be mad. My girl keep calling me. Don't be mad. Me and Moses have a tea. Don't be mad. Cause me and Dad about the tea. Cause when you pee, a lot of our people they need to be baptized. Don't be mad. They can't be right because they need to be baptized. Don't be mad. 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 I was gonna say, All right, uh, God. I was gonna say, uh, he when was you remember who the hell you are, let me know. Without faith, it's impossible to please it, the Heavenly Father. So it's show you that these camps that push the, 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 the uh, they don't push. I'm gonna be about New Amcon. Serves me right. Me, Coming me out this no summer. Lord, right. All right. Right. Because it's gonna be through faith that we're gonna make it out of here, man. Right. It's through faith that we're on the highways right now, man. They you know, don't token up our faith. They don't even acknowledge the Lord. Right. So how can you be a prisoner of somebody you don't even acknowledge, man? Right. And that's your only way out is through your Howard Shai. Okay. And you're teaching your you teaching your congregation to do so as well. Okay. Brush them out with uh people are brushing with physicalities, man. Uh, you know, demons know us, man. 
Yeah, she was going out of time. Benjamin, don't let Benjamin speak. <laughs> you know Benjamin. Yeah. All in that ass. Yeah. Hey, because, hey, the, 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 what the, the scripture say, hey, these demons came, hey, yeah, I wish I we know. Yeah. But who are you? You know, these demons know, man. Okay. Because like, like the brother just quoted, we wrestle against not flesh and blood, but principalities, man. Yep. Okay? This is a spiritual battle, man. Okay? And it's crazy because we're talking about the most key, important thing that Yahweh Shai is looking for when he comes back. Faith. Mm -hmm. Satan don't want that to go out. Mm -hmm. Hey, Yahweh Shai defeated Satan uh, through faith. Faith. Well, exactly. Just real quick. It's Ephesians 6. The tent, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hey, like this brother was saying, um, these other camps don't want you to get dressed. Like the Lord says, oh my people, prepare ye for the battle. When you go into a battle, you get dressed, man. Spiritually. Okay. Or we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So this has nothing to do with our flesh. We can't, like dudes bringing guns and looking tough, they got armor on, I mean, body, whatever they got on. It ain't about that, because it's a spiritual war. Yep, and it's spiritual armor. Yeah, yep. armor is spiritual, okay? Because that which you see is temporal and carnal, but that which you cannot see Okay, it's eternal. Okay, and and uh, it is it's uh, it's it's, uh, it's all spiritual. Right, uh, like you have this demon coming up messing with the camp. Those same demons are gonna mess with you in everyday life. Exactly. You in the house, they're jumping on you. Yeah, you leaving the job. They jump on your coworkers. They give them shit at the job. They embarrass you, refer people and shit. You know, it's like you just gotta fight that demon. Man. Hey, but they're not gonna have the shield. They're not right. gonna they not, they not gonna have that hedge around them. Right. Because it's a hedge up here. Right. She could only do so much. Right. That demon demon can only do so much. You know, that demon just came to show herself, you know. Because when the word of the Lord is going out, the spirits will get activated, man. Right. man. Okay? You remind me of the spirits, uh the, the guy that had the legions on him. Yeah. He was he, he, he was famous for people couldn't restrain him. Nobody could like no, no mess with him, but as soon as Yahweh was shy came, them demons flee, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's a spiritual war. It's not spiritual. physical. Yeah. Our people thought they could have submitted the demon by like restraining him. No. You got to use the word. I got to skip out. He's breaking chains. Chains, right? yeah. Man. So you have a demon, you have legion on you. strong as fuck. You know? <laughs> so you, like your brother said, you know, uh, our war is spiritual. You know? It's uh, James 4 and 7, it says, Submit yourselves therefore to the Most High. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Right. All you got to do is keep reading the scriptures, man. Yeah. Don't entertain the demons. Right. Like Bill was telling me, resist. You got to resist the spirit. Yeah, because, uh, you know how she was trying to get you to stop reading, right? Yeah. 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 I got three to step out. They want the word to come out. I got one. You know what? That's how you know um, brothers are the real prophets. Because these other camps don't deal with shit like that. You know? I mean, for one, they got microphones and shit like that. What's going on? It's uh, Acts 19 and 13. It says, Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. So let me read that again. It says, Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, saying, We adjure you by Yahweh Shai, whom Paul preaches. So they're playing with the name. Wow. They're taking the name of the Lord in vain. It says, And there were seven sons of Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. <clears throat> and the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? 
Yeah, he went back into the spiritual room to see if your name was written in the book of life. <laughs> Guess what? Oh, hey, it, wasn't, it wasn't written in the book of life. <laughs> back. Because the Abishai said, Paul is the chosen vessel. You know? So, it's a highly spiritual war, man. It's, it's highly spiritual, man. And if you're in the spirit, you can, you can recognize it, you know? It says, hey, 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 hey. A demon goes back to intelligence. So these devils, these demons know, man. These demons know what's up, man. You know? That's why that bitch always comes across the street to us. She always be on the other side of the street. You remember the, the other time? Where that I believe it was the angel, he came. And then that bitch, you know, oh, yeah. the same demon. You know? Because he's the word activates these demons out here, man. That's part of the elements, man. You know? It says, in the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Yeah, in these last days, you're gonna be uh, having men that these false prophets claiming, you know, uh, Yahweh Shri is with them. And they're gonna try to do the things that brothers are, are doing in those times because brothers gonna have power and they're gonna, they're gonna fail, all right? They're gonna be trying to take demons off people, heal people, and then they're gonna fail. And them demons gonna jump on them. You know that account. Them demons jumped off that guy and went on him. <laughs> made them beat, beat each other naked, man. You know? Or they, 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 they had, the demon was on them. I bet you those men thought, yeah, I was shot with dealing with them. Because they were preaching the name. Like, what if they were trying to take out demons in the name? Yeah. And they got confounded. Point, point being that the demons know what's up. They know who the Lord is chosen is, man. That's yeah. the point being. That's why if you're uh, if demons are constantly mess with you, know that you're doing something right. It's crazy. You know? It wouldn't be messing with you if you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, because they already got you. Right. Yeah. Like it says, Satan goes about seeking who may be devouring. He don't devour the ones he already devoured. He devours, he tries to devour the ones he doesn't have. Alright? The ones he can't get to. That's why it's constantly causing turmoil in your life, mischief mm -hmm. in your life, messing with you physically or mentally, man. Because you're doing the right thing. Try to get you to uh, go off, try to tempt you to go off, man. You know? And this is, and this is where, uh, remember, uh, in the book of Jude, all right, when you go to Jude. It's because Satan be trying to make you deal with the carnal matter car carnally. But, you know, the men of the Lord are going to deal with the carnal matter spiritually. You know, we understand what type of warfare this is. This is Jude 1 and 9. Yet Michael the archangel was contending with the devil. He disputed about the body of Moses. So these uh, Edomites are trying to find the, the body of Moses. But the Lord won't let him. It says, uh, Yet Michael the archangel was contending with the devil. He disputed about the body of Moses. So basically they were arguing about you know, the body of Moses, right? You can see it really says, Judge not bring against him in railing or custodian, but says the Lord rebuke you because when you battle these demons, you ain't supposed to battle them away like fuck you, shit, out of here, you know, you rebuke them. Alright, Satan in the name of the Hawkash man. That's what we gotta do. We gotta rebuke them. We gotta call them in the name. We gotta, we gotta pray. If even use scriptures, all right? Because Satan will try to tempt you to go off. Then you rebuke them. Cut them with the scriptures, man. All right. Uh, Matthew's four. Matthew's four. When Yahushua was tempted by the devil, did he Yahushua start cursing at them, saying, "I'll oh, fuck you, piece of shit, you weak"? Nah, man. Satan was doing his job. Satan was trying to tempt him. But how did Yahushua fight off that demon by right, cutting him with the scriptures? And Satan even used scriptures too. But yeah, I wish I came back with other scriptures, man. <laughs> he That's, was using them wrong, though. Right. Yeah. Satan was using them in the wrong context. Right, right. Con. Hey, that's that. Uh, going back to the armor, that's the sword. You know, you bring out that sword, which you know, which is which is this word, this truth, man. You know, this. You know, this. Why this is a spiritual, spiritual battle. You no, know, and we gotta fight it spiritually, not physically, man. Cause you can't fight no goddamn demon, man. Right. What can you do in a how, what can you do when a demon got you hold on the bed? All you gotta do is call on the name. You can call on the name. You know, and, and at times, there even uh, there, there be times you get a hold down, you call on the name, and it gets harder, it gets more painful, feel more pressure. Just keep calling on that name, man. 
for your tongue, but even stop your mouth. You know? Stop stop you from uh, uh stop your mouth from moving, you know, stop you from speaking. You can't stop your mind. Right. I got a precept on that account that you brought up about the trying to cast out the demons. It's uh this is book of Matthew 7 and 21. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. And we're seeing examples of men calling they even say they're in the name, they're in the body of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. They even call on the name. They probably even salute with the name. But they be denying the Lord. Yeah, give us some examples. We got one body in Satan. Yeah. This dude was uh, trying to speak against the miracle the Lord was going talking about his witchcraft. You got fucking ISUPK, right? They teaching the names. But here it is, they're they telling you to fuck another man's wife. They telling you to do it in the butt, all type of shit, man. So these men are, are, are false prophets, man. That's Although that you'll hear the name of Yahweh Shai, yeah. but they mainly gonna have they gonna say Christ, but you hear them say Yahweh Shai, you know, here and there, man. And then you have one guy talking about the word of the, the Lord is <laughs> is not in the Bible. That's the card. Yeah. Yeah. Kirby said it. That shit was off. He said the Bible is not the, the words of, of, the, of the Lord, uh -huh. but the words of the Lord contained in the Bible. Some madness like that. Yeah. Well, sure, you got to teach 100% truth. Yeah. Got to teach it correctly, man. Yeah. Got to teach it in perfection. Can't uh, put no lie in it. Right. Because if you put no lie, you have a shot when you return. That's what you're going to hear. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. For he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Man, what's the will of Yahweh Shai? My meat is to um, is to do my the will, father. The will, the will that's <laughs> the, the will of him that sent me. Yeah. Do this work. Yeah. The proper way, man. And you gotta humble yourself and, and get under the men that the Lord set up. It says, uh, verse 22. Then you will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wondrous works? And then who I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that worker that work iniquity. So when the Lord say that, it's probably gonna you be you being judged. That's when that scripture is gonna come into effect. Yeah. When the Lord says, Depart from me, it's probably you getting caught up in Jacob's trouble and you die. It's when the Lord come back and the Lord says, depart from me, it's probably you getting laser beam. All right, because when it all goes down, they're going to try to call on the right names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try to, uh, like I said, with the oil. They try to get the oil. They had the lamp. They do the oil. And then they, they try to get the oil. But then, the, uh, the, uh, you know, when they try to get the oil, the door, the marriage door just closed. It's too late, yeah. So you're talking about trimming your lamp. When you go into that word, it goes into prepare. All right? When you trim anything, you're making it more neater, you're making it more, you know, on point. So Revelation 22, so Revelation 22 and 17, the spirit and the bride say, come, and let him that hear it say, come, and let him that the thirst come, and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words, the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of his prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. That's why we have to teach the truth correctly 144%. You can't add anything to it. Because and you can't take it away. Because remember, they want to take away the book of Hebrews. Yeah, oh, they they want uh, yeah. hey, Mark, Mark, Mark. Too. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. You know, they want to say that Mark is not credible. Hey man, okay. them dudes are hypocrites. Cause I was watching uh, Deacon or whatever. I, I came across this video, and he's using New Testament scriptures for his own benefit. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's like, they're t they're denouncing Paul's writing. Well, you gotta understand, they they use scriptures that benefits them, and scriptures like uh, uh, that don't benefit them. They don't want to. They don't want to count that. That's a scripture. The Lord blinded him. He said, The deceived and the deceiver are his. That's, 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 that's why you got to yeah. fear y'all, but you know, shy, man. The Lord, man, he's not a power to play with. This 
back here in that uh, book of Matthew, 7 and 28. It says, uh, eight. That, oh, 8 and 28. It says, and, and when he was come to the other side, so uh, 7 and 28, right? Yeah. 8 and 28, huh? 8 and 28. This is, uh, oh, okay. This is uh, 8 and 28. And when he was come to the other side, into the country of uh, Gergesen, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs exceeding fierce so that no man might pass by that way it says and behold they cried out saying what have we to do with thee they probably had a heavy demonic countenance you know but they they were speaking to, to the lord yeah they know who he was man yeah they were subject to him yeah, there's nothing we could have All power was given to him, Lord. And you remember them demons like, has thou come to torture us? <laughs> it's part of this part of the right here. It says, and behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee? Yahweh Shai, thou son of the Lord, art thou come hither to torment us before thy time? See? Yeah, even the demons knew that Yahweh Shai was Yahweh Shai. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're going to know who anybody is. They're going to know who the Lord is. Yeah, God. Right? Because yeah. Huh? Right? Because wasn't he the one that actually uh, uh, did the, you know, uh, Yahweh's map or the blueprints? So they would know who created behind that, right? Yeah, but right, yeah, right there. Yahweh Shai created everything, yep. So the, the, the devil knows and trembles and like that? Like, yep. Why do you think he was the highest uh, level of uh, the demon I met with Yahweh Shai, which was Satan? Yeah. You know, because brothers. Each brother, they deal with different type of demons. Mm -hmm. You know, the the, 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 the the younger you are, you deal with, you know, lighter, lighter demons. But those are demons that are that are that are, that you can handle. You know that that's that that's right for you. And if you grow, the more you grow, the heavier and the the, the, the more uh, harder the demons come, man. Just I mean, like, the stronger uh, the stronger the demons get, man. Just like in grade school, yeah. you know, the higher you go, the harder the test gets. Right. And think about it too. You're praying for a lot of spiritual increases. So the Lord's going to give you those spiritual increases, but also you're going to have to have an opponent to exercise those increases. You know? met with opposition. That's going to bring a certain, develop a certain strength within you. You know? And it's going to be like that all the way up to them ships. As long as what we make it, man. Thinking, it's gonna last. It's gonna be the last time fucking with us. Yeah. yeah. So think about it. The closer we get to the kingdom, the harder it's gonna be. The, the harder that pressure is gonna get. You know, the harder the demons gonna get, man. But that just shows that we gotta, we have to go harder because you gotta imagine it like you're in a boxing ring. You know, Satan, you're fighting yourself. Satan's teaching your other self, your flesh, and and, and, and your Howard shots in your right hand teaching you, man. The spirit. And the whole crowd is against you. Right. And you, the whole and, stadium is against you. Each round, each round, you got round one, round two, but round. What, when does the fight count in, in boxing? I uh, just boxing. They count the, the last uh, rounds are the between ten and twelve. The last rounds, uh, and that's where you have to go. That's where each fight has to go harder, man. You know, so the closer we get to this place going down, and Yahweh Shai stabbing his kingdom, the you know the harder Satan's gonna go. So we have to go harder, man. We have to make sure we're on point. You know? You can't let these demons take your joy, man. Yeah, man. I thought the Lord says, comfort you one another with these words. You're yeah. supposed to encourage each other, like, you know? Like, keep going. Because even after uh, Yahweh Shai dealt with Satan, guess what? The, the, the angels came and ministered unto him and strengthened him back up, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So back in Matthew 8 and 29, it says, And behold, they cried out, saying what have we to do with thee Yahweh Shai, thou son of the lord art thou come hither to torment us before thy time uh, yeah. and it says and there was a good way off from them and heard of many swine feeding so the devils besought him saying if thou cast us out suffer us to go away into the herd of swine now so why would, a host. yeah but guess what a swine is a filthy ass animal Okay. So why would the evil spirits actually go in the swine? Because it's filthy. And that's why the Lord tells us not to eat it. Alright? Oh, 
32. Hey, like, you ever, what's up, you ever been to a place, or like the gym or work, you just, you just can't, you just feel, look at a person, you just keep, you feel like, I, I ain't gonna like, you feel like, you yeah. feel like, I, right, we gonna get along. Uh, you, you never yeah. even talk to, you never even talk to each other, but you feel that tension, like, man, I don't like these doctors, 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 you know, it's just, sometimes it's just a demon from the other person, man, you got some, you treat him like shit, you never talk to him, give him a weird look, no, for no reason. I would like the brother saying when you go to a certain area, you feel you feel it in the area. Something, the vibration, you know, experience. All right. It says, uh, verse 32, and and Yahushai said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine, and behold, the whole the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished into the waters. So the they had the animals kill themselves so they could go back to the heavens. The yeah. demons. Them pigs knew that they had demons yeah. on them. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they killed themselves. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I ain't having this spirit, man. You know, they killed themselves, man. Because, you, like you said, um, the demons need a host, right? Yeah. Are you done reading that? Yeah. I'm just trying to bring out this one. In Matthew 12 and 43, it says, When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places. Because we all know at one point, when, before we came into the shoe, mm -hmm. we had the light shine upon us, we all had demons on us. Yeah. All right, that made us do certain wicked things, right? Hey bro, real quick, do you, you notice like the heavier demons on the people that do drugs, they defile their bodies, and they do like crazy filthy things, so that's what they can stay on them, you know? Just like the elites and these movie stars, they are inviting demons. Yeah, yeah they, they open up the portal. Yeah. yeah, drugs, music, and alcohol. Alcohol, they call spirits. Right. Mm -hmm. So they, these people like to invite demons on them. Yeah, they do without even knowing them. Right, they don't know, no. but motherfuckers get to a point where they know. Exactly. Yeah. Like these uh, celebrities, man. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. because they always. And they give them names, too. They give them, I'm sorry, they give them spirits' names. Like yeah. Kanye West, he called his demon Yee. Yeah, not, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever you know. his name is. What's her name? You know? uh, uh, Nick Minaj, Roman. Yep, yeah, exactly. Slim Shady uh, with uh, Eminem. Mm -hmm. Sasha Pierce. Sasha Pierce with Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. You got Lady Gaga. Oh, yeah. Roman and Nick Minaj. The alter egos, they disguise as the alter egos, but really that's a demon's name. You know. Um, we finish. It says. And they be slack, bro. They be doing like, uh, they do like their little ceremonies or enchantments doing these TV programs, you know, especially on these, like, uh, these reality TV shows, you know, these live broadcasts. When they do stuff live, they be doing, they be doing those seances, man, you know, right in front of your eyes, you don't even see it, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'll be watching that shit. Yeah, like, on the weekend from the Super Bowl, you put, uh, Satan, uh, what should say on the on the screen, but he did it real fast. Oh, you yeah. want to notice? Yeah. You know, they always Witchcraft. they always show their homage to Satan, man. Yeah. When they say they pray to God, they want to thank God. It's not the God who you're thinking. It's Satan. That's who the God who they worship. Right. All right. Yeah, and they, when, when, you watch, oh, like, when you're watching it on the TV, that vibration is transferred. Let me finish this. Ma Matthew 12, 4, 3 says. When unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walks through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Yeah, because that demon that was once in you, once the spirit of Yahweh is upon you, he leaves and yet he goes about seeking another host to, the, to, to dwell in. But like everyone else is already have demons on him, man. So he's walking through dry places trying to find rest, right? It says, then he said, I will return to my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Because when he came back to, to the host that uh, that he once left, that host was a per was a uh, was a person that was that was once had the Holy Spirit upon upon him, but fell out. You know, these guys that used to do this work, all right, that fell out, okay? That demon that they used to have comes back, okay, and he finds it uh, empty. Meaning that they don't have the Holy Spirit. Okay. A, a, great, a great example is look at Saul. All right, the Lord. At one point, Saul had the Holy Spirit, but when the when the Lord took 
his Holy Spirit away, away from Saul, he replaced it with an evil spirit. Okay? So it says, verse 45, Then goeth he and taketh with him, with, with, flock. It says, Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. So I'm, I'm make sure I'm going to make my rent pay this time. I'm never going to leave again this time. I'm going to invite seven other more spirits. More wicked than, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Stronger than him. Right. Like, way, wicked, way wicked than me, man. No, you know? We see examples of that. Man. Even personally, with this camp fell out, seven demons jumped on him. Right. You've seen that. Because huh? you become worse, worse and worse than you were before you were in the shoe. You become a worse person mm -hmm. because you have more demons on you this time. Yeah. This is why it's, it, it's better not to have known the way of righteousness than to fall from it. Like it says in uh, Second Peter, okay, because you just become worse. All right, this is why we gotta pray. Uh, that Psalm 51, you know, the Lord don't take the Holy Spirit away from us, man. He don't, he don't cast us away from His presence and take not His Holy Spirit away from us. Because right. when that happens, you become a, you complete, you become completely destroyed. You become completely through. Or even your family sees like, man, what happened to this man? Ever since he stopped believing in the Bible and stopped going out, he just, he just become a you know, a, a fucking demon, man. He was turned into a psychopath. You've seen that, man. You just kill your whole family. Perfect. Hey, it happened to the guy in Arizona. Yeah. You know? Verse 45, Then goeth he and taketh within himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto the wicked generation. And I said the last state of the man it's worse than the first. You worse her off without the Lord after knowing him and, and you went back to the world, all right, then you were when you didn't know him, man. This is why, this is why what Paul said, we're not like them that lose patience. But you go back to this destruction, you got them demons that hop on, up on you, and you gotta miss away, miss with your name on it, man. Waiting for you, man. I don't get on that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah. I was just going to bring out this uh, This is the book of Hebrews 6 and 4 It says for it is impossible for those Who were once enlightened And have tasted of the heavenly gift And were made partakers of the Holy Spirit And have tasted the good word Of the Lord and the powers of the word To come If they shall fall away to renew them again Unto repentance Seeing they crucify to themselves The son of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Afresh and put him into an open shame yeah, because you took for granted of this gift that was given unto you. All right, and the Lord isn't going to come down, you know, and crucify himself again, you know, for you uh, people that refuse to listen. Hey, took, All right. You took, you took what you know, I wish I did, you know, for granted. Yeah. He was talking about putting the Lord to an open chain. Yeah. And look, imagine how angry I was shy is with someone that took what he, his sacrifice for granted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he was talking about that serving that knew that the Lord is going to beat him with 40 strength. That's why it goes on. Yeah. And that's why, like the brother just read, you get chastened by having those six other demons that go inside of you. Seven. So, so it's like those seven other demons. Which is a complete, complete amount of demons. Yeah. Might be thousands, might be eight, might be, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Legions. Legions. Yes, and that's just one way. That's that the Lord uh, judges you. Uh, he got many others. Just wait until Jacob's shovel comes. And yeah, the scripture you know? speak of, uh, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's that's where it's gonna start. You're gonna you, you're gonna be played mentally, man. And that's what was uh, going on with King Saul. He needed uh, David to play that instrument to, to calm his uh, mind. All right, look. This is uh, okay. this is uh, Second Corinthians four and start at one. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we think not. That's our hope. Faith goes back to lack of faith. Right. He yeah. goes back to being a coward too. The etymology, faith, and you start cowering. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. But if our gospel be hid, 
It is here to them that are lost in whom the God of this world hath blinded the mind of them which believe not. That's the okay. Satan and Satan and uh, Esau carrying out uh, Satan's uh, uh, will. Everyone's blinded by the God of this world. You want to ask a question? You got a question, man? You got a question? Okay. You got a question? No, I'm just listening. Oh, just listening. It says, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. Wow, the Lord don't want his uh, uh, truth to be given to them. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't want them to know him. Some of some of them came into this knowledge for condemnation, yeah. yep. just to get condemned, you know. Scary. Because I, I imagine back in the day, they have probably handled the word of the Lord wrong, and the Lord is getting it this time. Yeah, yeah, like, handling it wrong this time. Yeah. Pop, the apostles, uh, remember them? Uh, I think it was Apostle Yama that said that. The guys that uh, that the wicked. I forgot who said this, but uh, yeah, the. the the, the ones that slain and killed the prophets, yeah. you know, they're they're in the truth in this time, but they uh they're not in like in Great Milton and other camps. They know who they are, just so they can get uh, uh condemned and judged. And that's scary, man. The Lord brings you in the truth just to, so you could fall out and He could bring judgment upon you, man. Because like the scripture says, those I knew are gonna get uh, beaten with more stripes than those that didn't know. Alright. <laughs> That's why you gotta pray to the Lord for a sincere heart. Well, it's going into what like, well, was talking about how most of blocks certain people too. You know? This side doesn't want certain people coming in. So he can judge you. Right? So Isaiah 6 to 9. And he said, Go and tell his people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed. Perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes. So you could you could prophesy uh, you could prophesy a person for like an hour. You can tell them break it down to them, you can show them scientific facts, you can show them uh, data. They still won't see what you see. That's what the scripture says, bless are your eyes for ye see. And your ears for you for ye hear. We hear the prophecies, we have the spirit to actually discern. You know, but they don't make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. At least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. The Lord don't want to heal two thirds of our people, especially the one that said Caesar is our king and the one that said let thy blood be upon our our our, our hands and our, 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 hands, hands, and our children's hands. Yeah. The Lord don't want you to be healed. After you said that, oh hell no. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. See, the Lord's going to judge you. So right when the missiles touch down, that's when the Lord's going to open up the eyes of these people like it. And it's going to be too late so they understand, so they're going to know why they came to that judgment. They're going to know why they get hit with that missile. Alright? They shall be known, they shall know by death by pain. Death by pain. Yep. We have a, a woman in the world, an ex demon, they told the truth to, and she yeah. fucked out and she left. She didn't believe. Oh. And then uh, and then right before the mills was coming, like, shit, I should have stayed with him. Lo opened up her eyes and oh he was telling the truth. He was she, she gonna fill that judgment before that. Yeah. Well. Because you have you have women that deal deal with uh, the Lord brings uh, uh, women to certain brothers, just so they can, they're asked to get condemned, just so they ask to get judged. You gotta you gotta keep it in mind. Even 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 uh, with certain people, uh, certain people that fuck with you, that may done evil to you, the Lord had that happen so they can get judged, man. Yeah. Because it says, whosoever offended uh, one of these little ones, it's better that he uh, cast a, a millstone, tie a millstone on his neck and drop himself in the middle of this middle of the sea, than to offend one of these little ones, man. Yeah. All right, but. So we say you know, prophesy to the wind, you know. Most of our people aren't gonna get this truth, but that guy that came up here the other day talking about he wants to wake up his people. He 
who wants to teach our people the law, man. Two thirds of our people don't give a damn about the law. They're, they don't, they're not going to get it. Most high has been blocked for reasons, all right? Most high has been blocked. Thank you. Yeah. When you're hearing the word, no, you ain't keeping no laws, man. No, you mean? know, it's good to say faith comes by, by hearing the word of the Most High. Yeah. So it's all about faith, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, no. And through your faith that you grow, you keep the law. Yep. The law. Right. Hey, bro, yeah, who, right we, who was in the Christian church? We, we knew about the laws, and we still didn't keep it. So, I didn't know about the laws. <laughs> nah, I didn't, I didn't teach no, no fucking law in my church. Oh, All they did is sing and, oh, sing know, and no talk laws, about. <laughs> you know? yeah. They don't teach no laws in churches. But, yeah, man, I remember one day we had a feast. Uh, we, I went to church, and then after we had a feast, and certain foods are unlawful for that, that was on that feast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same over it's here. Things I, it's things I knew in my spirit not to do. Yeah. But, no, nah, I, I couldn't go to the Bible and prove nothing. Oh, yeah. And they used to have them gumbos and they used to celebrate Halloween at my church. All them, all them holidays. All the holidays. You know, yeah. fucking Easter. <laughs> yeah. And to keep the laws, the women at the churches, man, you know. Yeah, exactly. The way they, way they dress. Baggots at churches. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't wonder what's going on there yet. You got the woman, she's the pastor. Right. Okay. I seen a woman bishop. He was a bishop. Right. Like, what the hell is going on here? That's the last thing they teach at the churches is exactly. the law, man. They teach rallies to go against the law of y'all. They actually say, yeah, they actually say that the laws are done away with. They're done away with, man. Yeah. You know? You ready to die? Yeah, man, these Christian church, man, they don't care about the law. They don't care about none of that. Man, they're not going to teach you, you know, about the true scriptures because it's going to offend the audience. Right, uh, like, you uh, freak, uh, freak out the apocryphal. Uh, there's none of the scriptures in there that condemn women. You're not going to freak out the apocryphal church. You're not going to talk about how wives submit themselves to their husbands. The uh, yeah. audience would leave this shit. You know? Uh, that's why the Mosai is going to destroy that country cast, man. Right? I've spoken about it. Yeah. I got uh, the precept, uh, it's on uh, book of 1st Peter's 2 and 9, it says, But ye are, ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. They, a holy nation, separate, set apart, sacred to Yahweh Shemeshach, a peculiar people, a special, it says, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of the darkness, into his marvelous light. So we're supposed to show for praises to Yahweh Shemel Shai because he called us out of some gross darkness, man. He was doing a lot of things that were worthy of death. You know? And, and coming back, you're, you're, you're part of a marvelous light, man. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and you got to show for praises by your actions. Yeah, yeah like it's in the book of the roof, man. Though you're uh, roughly paraphrasing, though you were astray, you know, seek them forth uh, ten times more. Yeah. Hey, the light too is, is knowing these prophecies, man. Knowing that the world is about to, well, America's about to get destroyed, you know. It's about to get destroyed, decimated yeah. from off the face of the earth, man, okay. It's going to be a flat land, okay. All this that's happening right now, it's not going to be happening anymore, man. Right. Okay, to know that, you know, and to be able to prepare your mind, you know, to get yourself right, to be saved out of that, that's a marvelous light, man. It's marvelous, man, to know that. Because the day of the Lord is going to catch everybody else like a thief in the night, man. You know, that's not 2 Peter 3 and 11. Knowing that these are, these are going to be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be, man? Right. In no holy conversation. Yeah. Like the boat is going in. This is the holy conversation right here. It's okay. This is the holy conversation, man. Okay. One right now. Yeah. Jeremiah 17 and 15. It says, Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. And that is the spirit of our people. They're like, well, When is this going to happen? 
when's the word of the Lord gonna come to pass? And then Jeremiah said, let it come now. That is about to take, judgment is about to take hold of our people, yep. especially Jacob's trouble, you know? And you remember the woman said what? Where is the Lord thy power? Yeah, you exactly. know? That's right. Where, she, where your God at? You know, talking that big mess, man. But see, the Lord is long suffering. Okay, he lets you, he lets you bury yourself, you know, deeper and deeper, let you get yourself deeper and deeper in debt with him so he can come back and collect, man. And when the Lord collects, he wants all. He ain't taking no shorts, man. Okay, the Lord is not taking no shorts, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, keep going to 17. All right. It says, Jeremiah 17 and 15, Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. As for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee. Neither have I desired the woeful day. Thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. Be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in the day of evil. So that that's that's our spirit towards the Lord. Be not a terror unto mm -hmm. us, unto me, for thou art my hope in the day of evil, man. We believe in Yah Bashina Shai that he will protect us protect us in the days that are, are coming, in the evil days that are coming, man. And it's right around the corner. You see the paragma is is being advertised on the news again. You see, um, you know, uh, Esau setting up to destroy our people. He's coming back with that, that okido for people to take the juice again. You know, you see all the engineering, you know, because we're not ignorant of, of Satan's devices. We see Esau coming with something major, you know. He's, a lot of the um, grocery stores have been, not grocery stores, uh, meat factories have been burnt down. A lot of uh, produce uh, factories lately in the news, like God 7 was bringing out, are being burnt down. That famine is around the corner, man. But uh, go ahead, you have another piece of I didn't finish it. It says, Be not a terror unto me, that are my hope in the day of evil. Let them be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. Right? Like, the Lord's wrath that the Lord's about to release. We hope that the Lord remembers to show us mercy. You know, like have we said in wrath, remember mercy. You know, judge our people, judge them for the wickedness. But Bible the Shah, Lord have mercy upon us. Don't 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 uh, release your bring your wrath upon us. You know? It says, bring them bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. Double destruction. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while Yahweh shy, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. The word of the Lord is going out. You see the men on the, on the streets speaking to you. Seek the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Seek the Lord that you may live, man. Yep. While he is found, while he is able to be found. Because the Lord said it's going to be a famine of the word, man. You know, not a famine of bread, but a famine of hearing the word of the Lord, man. The Lord is going to take us off the streets. He's going to take us off the internet, okay? And then you're going to be wishing that you had a seek for the Lord. Because the Lord is going to show himself in this time. And he's going to bring his, his destruction, okay? He's going to break down the society. And you're going to know that it's the Lord doing it. And you're going to know that it's only him that be, will be able to save you out of it, man. But it's going to be too late. Simple. Because you're talking about there shall be a woman for wine in the streets. Yep. Yeah. Like, people are going to go crazy just for explanation. But the way they're going to get be getting judged, you're going to know that America is forsaken of God. Like, like you know how people be like, um, God is with America, or bless, bless America. In that God day, bless America. <laughs> yeah. In that day, you're gonna know that, like, that that Yahweh Shemel Shai is judging this place. Yeah. Just like they, when when a big natural disaster happened, they always said, "Of biblical proportion." Yeah, that's okay. his favorite word, though. Yeah. 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 What's, what's coming is a lot of people are gonna die. And the way that they're gonna die is not like, oh, this was a natural 
disaster or, or this was just a lone gunman or this was a broken terrorist. No, this was an act of the most high that this is because it's going to be so uh, terrible, so dramatic, man. You know, with, with the suggestion that's going to be in this place, even Esau could be shipping up, man. He's going to know it's from a higher power. The whole world's about to know that the Lord's doing this, man, because things are going to happen that they're not going to be able to explain. Like what it says, if, we get, if I get it real quick in Luke 21, right? Let's see, uh, this is Luke chapter 21, verse 25. Oh, uh, no, um, yeah, 20, 25. Just think about it, man. I went to the grocery store and I looked in the meat, the fish. Yeah, a lot of the stock that they, they used to stock, they're not restocking it anymore, man. Okay? And all of this is being done on purpose, all right? Because they want you to be completely dependent upon them, all right? You're going to go have to go to them in the want of everything, man, okay? Especially food, all right? This is Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations. With perplexity, the seeing rays growing because what the Lord's about to do, a lot of people are not going to know what to, what to do. You look up the word perplexity, right? Perplexity. I'm looking up in the Merriam Webster's dictionary. Because uh, the government ain't going to be explaining because they're doing it. <laughs> right. They're going to be like, well, this is happening because, you know, he's all got, got an excuse for everything. Climate change. Yeah, but what's about to happen, you know, uh, like the Lord said, he's going to smite each of the plagues as before, right? What's one of the plagues? Oh. Evil spirits. Just imagine the Lord has an evil spirit and he, he opens everyone's eyes to see it. Who can explain that? How can Esau explain that? What can he say that what that is? You know, that's why uh, going to the word perplex, it means, it means to be in a state filled with uncertainty. Full of difficulty, man. A lot of people, a lot of a lot of people are gonna be uncertain what's going on, what to do. They're not gonna know what to do. They're not gonna know what's going on. They're gonna be lost, man. You know. The book of Amos 5 and 18. This is woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You have a lot of Christians in the common boards. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, he's gonna save us from the rapture. Like, woe unto you to desire the day of the Lord, especially you that don't know the Lord. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into his house and leaned his hand on the wall and so, a serpent bit him. So like, you're gonna go from a, a hard situation to an even harder situation. There is no escape from the judgment that's coming. You may escape the sword. Well, you, you may not escape the famine or vice versa. Yes. Yes. It says that, you know, second That's, right. that's the know? drama that the Lord is putting on you. That's right. Okay, the Lord is going to put that drama on you. You know, a lot of people think that. A lot of people think that when the, when the missiles come, because, you know, a lot, a lot of people believe in these missiles coming and when it destroys this place, that the Lord is just going to hit. The missile's going to hit and then you're just going to die. No! No! no. The Lord's about to make you suffer, man. Exactly. Isaiah 6 and 64, it says the Lord's going to bring your fears upon you. You know, whatever you're afraid of, the Lord's going to bring that upon you, man. You know, he's going to make you people suffer. Okay? It's not just people that have that life, they have that mindset, well, YOLO, you only live once we die. You know, we're all going to die at one point, right? It's not like how you're going to die. Uh, you're going to die. It's how you're going to die, the process of it. The Lord can... The Lord can break your soul, break your spirit, man. Well, the all right. Talk about them, their eyes melting and their sockets now. and their tongues in their mouth. I'm all better now. They, no, they're I. Gonna be, they're gonna be standing Somebody on your feet. Me. For you to stand on your feet, you can feel all your muscles in your body activated. So you gonna feel every excruciating pain in that day, man. But the Lord's gonna leave that spirit Hell there. Is. That's how your spirit is gonna get cleansed, man. They shall know yeah. it death by pain. You know, the Lord is not playing, man. All right, it's time for, for everybody to get serious about this, man. Because the time no. is getting short. No, nope. it's time to get short, silly. Man. All right.
Okay. People don't dance no more. All they do so is Luke this. 21 and 25. All they do is this. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the People moon. People don't dance no more. And in the stars. People don't dance no more. And upon All they the do earth, is this. The stress of nations with Sorry, perplexity. God. The sea and the way is roaring, right? So you look up the word. No, perplexity. if God want me to stop, he'll tell me to stop. When you go to the first word, Aparea, which basically means the state of one who is in perplexity, hey. right? But when you go to the root word, which is Aparea, it's lucky if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But Aparea, which means to be without resources, to be in straits, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed. Don't the scripture say uh, in Isaiah 65, uh, uh, the Lord's servant is going to be a joyce? But you should be ashamed, okay? Our people, when, when judgment comes and the, and the day is known that a prophet has been among them, they're going to be ashamed, man, because they're going to be left with themselves. You're going to have to be facing yourself and all the shit you, you did on earth, man, because we'll soon the fun, all the playtime, all that party and bullshit, all that's going to be over, man. All your entertainment, all that fall that our people like to be involved in, all that's going to be over, and, and it's not coming back, man. Yeah, it is. All right, it's never coming back, title. okay? It serves me so right. it says, to be embarrassed, to be in doubt, but it's not, not to know which we way to turn, today. right? And that's what a lot of our people are going to be. You're going to be not know what to do. You're going to be right. confused. You're not going to know what's going on. You're not know you're not gonna know anything, man. You're gonna just be lost, man. Break it down. You get you're gonna be lost, left with your conscience. Right. All the things that you've done, you know, like they say, your life about before you die. I had, had eleven life abortions. Flashes oh, yeah. before your eyes. Okay. Hey, you and, and I had this, eleven abortions. Your life, and all the wickedness that you've no, done, it's you gonna, teaching? it's gonna flash right before your eyes. You know? Why would you ask? What are you teaching? You're teaching the Bible, man. Bible prophecy. For the end of uh, the white man's world. And the uprising of these people right here, man. You know, you're an Israelite, man. You ready for that? Wow, everybody thinks Lord, that y'all know each other. No, I'm talking about right now. Wow, Lord, everybody Lord. thinks y'all know each other. All right, so y'all come follow me. What you mean, follow no. you, man? I will. I'm about to take corruption out of place. Yay! Are you ready? Say, why you gotta speak up, I'm man? With you. I'm gonna take corruption out of place. I'm with you. Nah, man. Y'all wanna join that? I ain't dealing with that, man. Will you accept me, though? I got a reset, man. Go with that. Nah. This is uh, second Andrew 16, right, right. and uh. Can I be able to use? Can I be able to use this And what you think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin, and another one come the in Lord his place. Exactly, search out all your works. Ooh. That's fine. What? This is uh, they that sin and hide their sin. Right? And a lot of our people are. Uh, uh, they have a lot well, of. Why would that in the dark should come out into the a light? Of, a lot of the people have done a lot of wicked shit. That you don't even know of. Luckily, and, salvation, and, and, and the grace covers all, a multitude of the sins. Lord's about to bring that all to light, man. Grace covers a multitude of what the sins. What the fuck was that Jake going, man? Oh, you know, yeah. I'm going to follow him. He had asked me, he said, hey, so exactly. what y'all doing over here? I was like, I'll, I'll Judge not, it. yes, you be judged, for in your judgment you will be judged. Luckily, said, grace covers a multitude of sins. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm going to sit to the Bible. Yeah. Join my mouth here. It says, therefore, have the Lord exactly search out all your works. And he will put you spend on the shame. Don't spend that much time on your past. Forth, you spend should be ashamed before men. And your own sins shall be accused in that day. Like brothers are saying, like, you got, you gonna have to deal with yourself. Deal with your decisions. Yeah, it took me about ten seconds. Uh, well, it took me about five minutes. I said I had eleven abortions. Probably because I had a brain injury. I cried for each one of them. I never cried before. But the Lord said, Get ready to have the whole world hate you. Get ready to meet your maker. Say, God, earth, I do man. deserve to die. Especially here Your in life Babylon, is in my hands. The Lord is going to destroy this place. You know, he's, he's not going to destroy it without, you know, letting his people, you know, hear this word and giving them a chance Her to repent. Her family says me yeah. behind okay. Okay. Hey, she's got a girlfriend. She this is all the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 37. It says, Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins. And covered with their iniquities, like as that are bound with their sins and covered in iniquities. Yeah. Like the brothers are going into man, your own conscience is going to be the one condemning you in those days, man. These are jakes that haven't been baptized with the word. Yeah. What about the fruits of the spirit? It says, it says, what are the fruits of the spirit? Are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field covered with bushes, and their path thereof covered with thorns, and that no man may travel through. It is left undressed. And he and Salaki and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. That's the one, the new clear. Forgive so somebody today. The Lord ain't gonna forgive. Do it today, no, he can't wait. Forgive somebody no. today. They're gonna, they're Don't gonna, act like gonna, you ain't gotten the same thing. Forgive they're gonna somebody pay today. For their sins. 
Like What's that. the big thing? Don't be no lame. Forgive somebody uh, today. Do it 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 I am not the sum of all my sins. I am not a list of my experiences. I am not a collection of characteristics. And I am not bits and pieces and body parts. Body parts. Says I come home, my body been messed. My body, your body, everybody move your body. It's uh, the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 6, verse 10. I challenge all of our start to a rap battle speak, contest, teaching and give contest, warning, and graffiti contest. And that they may hear, behold, the ear is uncircumcised. Sherman Oaks, stand up! Hearken. I am standing! Behold, the word Sorry. of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. To, 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 to our people, the word of the Lord is a reproach. You know? It's something that they, they can't stand. They despise it. You know, I can't do what it used to because I'm a new, I'm a new creation. Can't do what it used Verse to. 11. Therefore, I am full of the Everything fury of new, the Lord, new, new, new. and I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad. Love is not boastful. Love is not loud. Of the young men together, for even the husband God is love. and the wife shall be taken, and the aged with him that is full of days. Yeah, it's jumping on the 14. It says, they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying peace and peace when there is no peace. There is no peace. All right, our people are telling our people lies that to heal them. You know, temporary band-aids. Okay, shut up. Everything's going to be all right. No, yeah, that's everything's right. not going to be all right. All yes, right? it the is. The about to destroy all of our people that are not down. We're coming back to his Statues, his no. words. You can't freestyle. All right, I challenge all of these guys to talk about that Isaiah in a freestyle 16, right now. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And no read. one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. The word read means to know. So when you read it. The word read does not mean to know. The word read means to read look means at to words when you read, that you are know made something. into a sentence. And you know about how Yahweh Shemel Shai translate that into an idea. All right, when you don't come back to him, he's gonna put you to death. And, it says, no one and then he'll bring you back to life. Like it did Jesus, down. Lazarus, I me. Hey, the brothers was always talking about how to take the trouble, listen, famine, no. destruction. Yeah. All those prophecies are gonna come to pass, man. So you gotta study and read, man. That's, that's right. You prepare yourself for it, man. Uh, or you just gotta practice freestyle. You already Wisdom know that you, you black. You already know. Time, you ain't really got to read. Uh, last time I checked, slaves didn't read. Slaves didn't read. They didn't jump down, turn around, pick a belly cotton. What? Reading, jump down, turn best the rest that I've gotten. Seek you out of the book so you read. jump down, you pick of up the belly cotton. You put down no the belly, hey, there's a change of clothes. Lunch, your keys, watch out, your people. Jump down, turn. Hey, slave owner Johnson. Was it hay or was it cotton? That's two stories that we've gotten. Quick, it's my slave. He's on his way to Wisconsin. Jump down, turn best the rest that I've gotten. What? No. I acknowledge it, bro. I acknowledge it. None shall want her mate. Can't compare with... It's also from the new album. Keep the new gas. Uh, the Muslim bro. Best direction that I got. None of these other books Yeah, I wrote that. None of these other philosophers. For black people. To tell them thank you for teaching me everything I know. None of these other books. None of these other books. None of these other other philosophies have prophecy in it. This is the only book that has prophecy, all right? For my mouth has commanded and his spirit has gathered. And the Lord's word don't go out void. Alright? It's going to do what the Lord intended to do. Yep. Right. Isaiah 55 and 11. Yep. I got something real quick. Go ahead, brother. Hi! This brother was talking about who shall be saved. Who's going to be saved. This is uh, Matthew 3 and 8. It says, Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. Dealing with men. Man cannot live by bread alone. That's why the Lord uh, rebuked the five the Pharisees. No, these uh, are the fruits of the spirit. These, these like are the things you inherit. Um, you finally, finally follow me. So finally finally said, follow uh, me. Peace, love, 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 O generations of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. So you got, same way you had snakes that 
uphold the law or teaching our people. You have snakes today, you know, amongst Israel, you know. If vipers is, it was an insult back then. Yeah, no, you were in an ancient insult. world. If you were in an ancient world, you went, you call someone a viper, you better have some hands. It's still an insult, bro. You call somebody a snake. Verse 9, it says, And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For well, I say unto you, That the Most High is able of these stones to raise up children. Well, that, that is Abraham. That is the thing with our people. They have this mindset that they're privileged to the kingdom. You have dudes out here, you know, the other camps, they think that they're privileged to what Yahweh Shemel Shai has in store for the elect. They feel. They feel that they deserve the kingdom. None of us deserve shit, man. The Lord is, is, is giving it, man, the Lord is merciful. Yeah. He's giving it to his elect. That's why he said you are joint heirs. The Lord ain't gotta give us nothing, man. What Yahweh Shai said is, my, is of our Father's will to give us the kingdom. Right. You know? And it says too that all Israel shall be saved. Yeah, you're gonna be saved, but some of you have to be saved in childbearing. Yeah. Some of you are gonna have to go through the fire, man. Okay, come, back into come back into the kingdom, okay? You're going to have to know it. Your your rejection of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, you're going to have to know it that that was wrong by death, by pain. The Lord going to put you through something because you don't, you don't want to go through what the Lord has set up for you to go through as the elect, okay? Yeah, I think you go some other way. Right. Yeah. So you're going to go up another way. <laughs> you're going to go up another way. A way that you don't, you don't like. You're not going to like it. Okay, who can judge me? Can't nobody judge me but God. God can only judge me. Okay, all right. That's the same thing they said back there doing um, with Moses. And when the Lord, when the Lord thundered, okay, they didn't want no part. They didn't want no smoke. It's gonna be the same thing in this day, but you gonna get the smoke this time. <laughs> you gonna get that smoke. You know. And let's get some uh, from this. Let me read 10. Matthew 3 and 10. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Okay, you're going to get cast into that lake of fire, man. All right? The Lord going to cut you off, throw you in that fire. You're going to have to be born back into the kingdom again. Okay? As a newborn babe, you know. So the as simple as that. To the tree. <laughs> yeah. The Lord is ready to cut it down. <laughs> exactly. Because they, when, when, when the Lord stretched out his hand, they refused. They smacked the hand away. What did it say? They shrugged the shoulder. Pull the shoulder back. Hold, oh, brother. Hold up, brother. Oh, get off of me, man. Okay? That's how our people are, man. Okay? Against the word of the Lord. They act like it's something better, better and bigger than the word of the Lord, man. Okay? There's nothing bigger or better than the word of the Lord, man. Straight up. Yeah, I remember that one dude, uh, I don't know if it was white or something. He was like, young, young need to get money, man. What y'all doing out there? Get money. Get fuck money. Money's gonna get burned. Exactly. Money is not the solution. Right. Why are the most depressed people uh, a millionaire? Right? Yeah. They don't tell you what you have to give up to to attain that, man. That shit destroys you, man. Yeah. That shit ain't gonna get you right, get, get you in good graces with the Lord. Right. The Lord give a fuck about how much money you have. You skip say, the Lord dealing with the poor. Yeah. Rich in faith. Yeah, these riches that you that these people are getting, they all coming from Satan. Right. Okay. And Satan comes to collect at the end. You don't get nothing for free. Oh, I'm sell my soul. Well, you got to give up your soul, man. Yeah. Yeah. So real quick. Go ahead. Another one. Uh, Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, mm -hmm. but righteousness delivers from death. Yep. Righteousness delivers from death. So in righteousness, reap in mercy. Uh, do what is right before y'all by Shemel Shai that you may obtain mercy. Right. You're not going to be able to buy your way out of judgment. 
right. Okay, because the Lord already has it set. You have iniquity. Your sins have stacked up and up and up and up and up. And you keep saying, can nobody judge me but the most high. So what you think going to happen? You're going to get judged. You know judgment is coming. You know you don't do anything and there's no, it's what it says. Who said that? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, so what the Lord said, what's that scripture? Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. Okay? If you plant, if you plant wickedness, you're going to reap judgment of wickedness. Okay? I got a piece of thing It's a... The book of Sarah, chapter 5, I'll start at 4. It says, Say not I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? Mm -hmm. For the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. Alright? Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Right. That's iniquity. Sin unto sin. Yeah. Okay, don't be scared to do that, man. Just because the Lord, what's that scripture? Uh, because sentence against an evil work or an evil act is not executed speedily yeah. it is in the heart of men to do wickedness you're not supposed to have that that type of mind frame man yeah. you're supposed to be in the fear of the lord the fear of the lord is his treasure man that's your treasure you're supposed to hold that tight man like a wedge of gold man all right that's the only thing that's going to keep you from the wrath of the lord man all right it says say not i have sinned and what harm hath happened unto me all right so like it verse five Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Propitiation. Pro, so, my bad. It's propi propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. That's the wicked type of mindset our people are in, man. They think they could uh, ask for forgiveness at the last minute. Yeah. All right. It says, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him. And his indignation rested upon sinners. You want to say he's angry with the wicked every day. So when that judgment comes, the Lord's going to show, like Jesus says, I, I have, no, I have uh -huh. no pleasure in them. Uh -huh. Judgment yeah. is going to show that the Lord ain't pleased with you. You know? He said the Lord hated sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what did the, the, the church teach? They teach uh, that you know, the yeah. Lord hates the sin, but loves the sinner. So they can just make up anything, man, yeah. with no proof. And you can go to the Bible and prove it, and prove that the Lord didn't say that. Oh, no, that's the Old Testament, okay? Oh, yeah. The laws are done away with. We don't have to keep the laws no more, okay? So why is there such thing as a sinner then? Right. There you go. You know, a sinner is one that sins. It's like a boxer is one that boxes. Exactly. Yeah. So if sin is a... Uh, 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 if sin exists, sinners exist. And the sin is what? Breaking the Lord's law. Mm -hmm. And there's law, there's all type of laws, all everything. You know, and our people, man, they can give a damn. That's why the scripture says our people are laden with sin. And a label is the thing that you pick up, like you pick up grave oh, with and, 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 uh, and, and pour it over everything. Smother, yeah. Smother it. <laughs> our people are smothered with sin. Actually, let me get, let me get yeah, when you come back to these laws that when you come back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you are no longer servants to sin. Yep. Yeah. And so John 8 and uh, 34, Yahweh Shai answered them, Verily, verily, I said to you, Whosoever committeth sin is a servant of sin. This is the wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Yeah, man, so the Lord ain't dealing with those that are subject to sin, servants to sin. You know? It says we're no longer a subject to the book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 13 it says hear ye that are far off what I have done and ye that are near acknowledge my might see the Lord just wants to be acknowledged in all things it says 
says, verse 14, the sinner in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. So the Lord says, the sinners in Zion are afraid. And the Lord has surprised the, the hypocrites. The Lord got a big surprise for all you Israelites out there, you know? The judgment is going to be a surprise. It says, who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burning? So sinners are going to be in that nuclear fire, especially of our people. You know? Yeah, Revelation 18 says all the unbelieving, mm -hmm. you know, all the sorcerers. So Isaiah 54, 16, gold, I've traded the smith that blew up the coals and fire. That bring it forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waster to destroy. When you think of someone that's a smith, you think of someone that creates weapons. So the Lord has created the scientists to create nuclear fusion, nuclear bombs. You know, Yahweh Shimon Shai created the put in the minds of these men to learn how to engineer missiles from rocket fuel to the warheads to the tip of it from it being like a, a serpent, like the scripture says, from being guided. The Lord created that man or men to do that. Yeah. That's why you had uh, the thing like this brother always bring out, Operation um, Paperclip. Yeah. All right, where Esau, they, he took all of these sciences and he took their families to threaten them for them to work and build missiles. All right, and Russia got the rest of them. Clearly, Russia, Russia got the best of them because now Russia just unveiled a missile, like Brother was saying, that could reach over here in five minutes. All right, supersonic missile, super hyper. Uh, it might be the same thing. That's an hour, not five minutes. No, no, uh, the new one that recently just came out. They just tested it. I forgot what the name. Yeah, yeah. Come over here in the cross or uh, globe in an hour. Right there, next to Alaska, man. You know, hey, hey, when these uh, when these nations shoot these missiles, man, the Lord got to understand the Lord's gonna take control of that. Right. All they need, all all he needs is, is them to uh, put the push that button. And that's why he has these angels working on their minds to make sure they do that yeah. to accomplish His will. And once the missile shut off, it's the Lord's the Lord's in control, man. They're gonna hit where where, where the Lord wants it to hit. That's why ain't no missile defense system. Ain't no calling Russia and these other nations to stop these missiles from shooting. Because even if they wanted to, they couldn't. Because it's it's in it's in control for the how about shot. The new missile that Russia um, tested it said that no um, missile defense system could could destroy it or detect it. You know, so these missiles, like the Lord call them the the horse, they gonna gallop to where they need to go, which is uh, America. Don't you break the ranks. Huh? No. Hit each target that they're intended to hit. And the Lord is sharpening the, the, the glittering sword, meaning they're being perfected right now. They're becoming more uh, advanced, more better. Where Esau has no type of defenses, nothing to protect himself when the missiles are launched. Uh, get that uh, so, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 9, it says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And so that great assembly is beginning now. Russia is, is um, in league with um, India because India gets the majority 50, 50 to 40 percent of its fuel from Russia. All right? And India just bought missiles. So all these nations. They're, they're already assembling, and soon they'll assemble for that great day. Amen. 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 It says, it says, and they shall set themselves in array against it. From thence they shall be taken. The arrow shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. All right, those missiles, man, they're going to hit that attendant target like the brothers are saying, man. All right, it has to take one hour. Yep. That's the Lord's That's army. Okay, he created the smith for instrument for his destruction. Yeah. Okay, 
and I bring this he out. Gave, uh, yeah, go ahead. So, yeah, like the brother was saying, man, he gave that wisdom to these team and night scientists, man. All right, to, to, uh, to make these missiles, man. Mm -hmm. All right, who are the team and today? So, it's Huh? Oh, the oh, Germans. There you go. Yeah. And they're, they're the smartest of the heathen ones. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why the scriptures. Look at their cars. <laughs> yeah. That's why the scriptures, you know, they're talking about, you know, thou wiser than that. All right? Uh, Russia to test. So I'm at ICBM, right? Intercontinent ballistic, ballistic missiles. Russia is new intercon intercontinental in intercontinental range ballistic oh, missile. Okay. The super heavy ther thermo nuclear armed RS-28 Sarmat. We replaced the SS-18, the biggest and deadliest Soviet missile of the Cold War. Uh, yeah. The RS-28, they call it Satan II. Uh, Sarmat can make circum circumterrestrial flight and hit targets of other side of the planet from unexpected direction within one hour. Uh, payload designed to carry more than 10 nuclear warheads known as MRIV, MIRVs, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. Mm. Uh, right? That's what, that's when, um, when you go to um, Joel 2, the face before them is like fire. No, no, no. I forgot how it goes. I forgot, I forgot how it goes. Like when Joel fire. too. Uh, yeah, behind her, uh, before it's like Eden. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's oh, behind her, the uh, wilderness. Right, because uh, once the missiles hit, what happens? It turns, it, it turns whatever hits into a wilderness. Yeah. This place is about to be one big desert, man. And, and then, also it says uh, that they shall be bathed in heaven. Right. But they're going to go out to the, out of the atmosphere yeah. and come back in. Yep. Uh, Mm. That's when uh, when you go to Romans, I mean not Romans, Revelation 9 and um, and 16, right? It says the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. So these are 200 million missiles, like 200 million warheads. Because when you go into a missile, uh, like it carries more, it ca carries multiple warheads. Yeah. Just like the, uh, the Russia, uh, the Russia Sarmat ICBM. This is again, again, MIRVs, right? They, they be, they're able to carry 10, all right? And it's not just gonna be Russia, you're gonna have all nations, like Jeremiah 50 says, spur no arrows. Oh, yeah. So you add up, when you add all that, and all the warheads that are in these missiles, it, it equals 200 million, uh, 200 million um, warheads. That's yeah. why John said, he called them as horsemen, okay? Yeah. And Revelation, it even goes into it, America's own allies are gonna send missiles in this place, man. Yeah. Revelation 17. Right. Yeah. Um, each MRIV, which can be aimed at different targets, has explosive yield up of up to 750 kilotons. So one, one, you have uh, these different words. They can aim at each target, man. You know, they could go to different places and hit where they hit where they are where they're destined. Yep. Okay. That's so, why it says none of them shall break their ranks, man. Right. Because Joe the Lord. Too. The Lord has them destined. Okay. You know, He already has them predestinated where they're gonna hit, man. So the whole of Babylon can be destroyed. Okay. Uh, one more it says Hiroshima atomic bomb was around 15 okay. kilotons. All right? 15. Yeah, and, and this one's 750. Woo! Uh, Sarmat can also deliver new Ar Arvin Gun hypersonic glide vehicle HGV capable of carrying nuclear payload at 20 times the speed of sound <laughs> all right and this is the new missile that uh russia just just had man and this is just one of them they have many others you know that's why uh vladimir Putin said that he said himself russia we have the we have we have the highest we, we, we win the nuclear race we have the best nuclear weapons no one can fuck with us when it comes to nuclear weapons you know not even america that have hypersonic missiles russia is one of the nations that has hypersonic missiles along with China and North Korea. America, they're failing that race. They keep failing, man. They don't have, they, they haven't uh, figured out a way to create hypersonic missiles. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, explain what you said. Uh, so, the book of Revelation 9 and 19, it says, For their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents. Right. Because when you, that missile, that's like, as a, the missile is the carrying delivery system, all right? And then it says the, the mouth. Yeah. 
and it says on their mouth and in Salakia, and in their tails, for there were tails were like unto serpents. And yeah, you know, sir, that. Oh, before they that? Oh, slide, bro, serpents, you know, another thing, another characteristic of a serpent is that a serpent sheds its skin, okay, and, it, and then those nuclear warheads, they shed as they go up, you know, they each, each uh, bank of uh, what they First call one it, one thrusters, one, 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 one. you know, they fall down to the earth, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and a snake, before it attacks, it pulls back, and then it strikes. <laughs> It says, uh, well, it's just for their power is in their mouth. Right, the, the warheads, man. Yeah. yeah that's what that, that's what the, that's what the, the bomb is. That's what that nuclear is. That's, what that's what's gonna do the damage. Yeah. You know. It says, oh. Oh, it says, uh, and in their tails, their tails were like unto serpents, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. Yeah, also with that rocket fuel in the back that pushes the the, uh, the missile. Yeah. And that head, once it explodes. Uh, Ooh, that's why they call it warheads. Yeah, that's what does the damage. We gotta bring out that draw too, but it's coming, it's coming out a lot. Hey, that was some double. I got it. Oh, yeah. What? Draw two and one. <clears throat> Blow ye the trumpet of Zion and sound it along with my holy mountain. Hey, and that's what we're doing spiritually. We're blowing the trumpet, warning our people of America being destroyed. Just like in the time of Noah. All right, there were, Noah was out there building the ark and prophesying uh, about 120 years of the flood coming. People didn't believe him. Just like today, people don't believe America is going to be destroyed because they think that America is one great country and they can't see that this place is going down the drain each and every single day, man. All right? We're, at, we're set to blow the trumpet spiritually. Warn our people, blow you the trumpet in Zion. It didn't say Zion and warn the other nations. The Lord wants the other nations to go to war. We were supposed to warn them that the judgment to come, but he, he specifically cares for our people, you know, because he don't want our people to be in the nuclear fire, especially the elect. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and, and it's strong. Hey, it says great darkness. What, what's going to cause that darkness? The missiles. Because once they hit, they create what? A mushroom cloud. It's going to cover the sky. It's going to cover the sun, the stars, the moon, everything, man. It's going to create great darkness. And, it, and, and that smoke is going to even be seen from other parts of the world, man. So all you got to do is if you live in the uh, Philippines, look towards America, you're going to be able to see that smoke. Okay? Because that's how great the destruction is going to be. It's gonna be so great. It's gonna even cause the earth to shake to and fro, man. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, like brother saw that impact of well, the explosion that happened last year. Uh, where is it? Uh, Peru. Uh, I forget which country it was, but yeah. that that impact, man, it, it caused like the windshield of cars, fucking buildings to collapse. You know that that's gonna cause you know people's eardrums to rupture, their lungs to collapse, and then the fire just you know. Yeah, it, you, can, you can be able to hear the missiles coming. Yeah. You may be hear that sound. You know. Even before that, you, you know, you, you saw him play that, uh, you got 30 minutes, that radio sound, you know, that, that, that warning, the nuclear missiles coming. You know, you got 30 or such and such just to live, you know. You feel me freaking out, not knowing what to do, trying to hide, going to seek shelter. There's nowhere to go. But all that, all that, you know, you try to get right with God, right before they die, but all that's going to fail, man. Because America's not going to be like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You're not going to have a couple buildings or trees to come. They're gonna be still standing. Everything's gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah. Everything. No building, no bunker, even your bunkers that you have here in America is not gonna be able to protect you from these missiles, man. The brothers just read it out of Revelation. 200 million warheads, man. That's what's coming. You know, there's not gonna be fallout after this, man. It's gonna be coming. And that's just the. Yeah. You got also uh, add on to all the wood, all the fires, these yeah, gas stations, the gas. Yeah. these cars. Yeah. Volcanoes. The, what happens when you when you start a fire? You want to add more. Add, no, make the fire go long and make the fire go high. You add more wood. You people are the wood. People, are, you people are the are, are the wood that's gonna keep the fire fire going, man. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Everybody's talking about it should not leave, leave the branch or roof. Right. Goes like at least all feet into the ground. This destruction is gonna be so great. You're not gonna be able to tell America anymore where Texas is. You're not gonna be able to see these different states, man, because you it, it's gonna. That's how great it's going to be. Well, it's gonna be a, a lake of fire too. You know, lakes are deep. Okay, oh, lakes are deep, 
like uh, when that when that bomb went off in what it was Nagasaki, Hiroshima, but it's an atom bomb. The yep, fire, yep, the yep. fire was high. Okay, right. and this is nuclear fire, man. So the fire is going to be way up there, man. It's going to be a whole lake of fire, man. The whole place, man. Just there's no, it's going to be engulfed in fire. Hey, the Lord even called the people like chaff to the wind. What did chaff do? Kindle the fire. So even the people going to make the fire, you know, yeah. grow. There's a sacrifice. That's right. Yeah, kind of Lord said he had to sacrifice in Bosco. Right. You people are going to be in it. You're going to be that sacrifice. Yeah. And, and we, we all can see this because Russia is threatening America right this moment with nuclear fire. We just gotta wait for the the Quran. You know, none of this is as far as fetch, man. It's it's you can see it right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 the angels are holding back the four winds until the servants of the Lord are sealed, man. Okay? That's the only thing that's, that the Lord is waiting on, you know? Because once the servants are sealed, then the, the, the paragma has already been established as being made uh, mandatory, okay? So that's the only thing left is for the Lord to destroy this place, man, and it's going to happen. Regardless of what people, ain't going to be no Jacob's trouble, ain't going to be no missiles, all this. You can say anything you want to say, but the Lord is going to bring what he said to life, man. Right. Isaiah 55 and 11, his word don't go out void. It's going to accomplish that which he said to do, man. Okay. Because Jesus says, now willing that any should perish, but all should come to uh, everlasting life. And the elect, repentance, repentance. So all the elect are gonna have some, they're gonna get the, the angel are holding back the destruction so all the elect could repent and get right with Yahweh by Shemal Shai, then the destruction comes. Maybe 212, 2 or 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, the great people and the strong. And also, real quick. Uh, the, the missiles are gonna block out the, the sun and the constellation. Cause it'll be, it's, it's gonna be so much missiles. It, the whole sky is gonna be black. There have not been ever the light. Neither shall be any more after it. it Cause that's gonna be the war to end our wars. You know, hey, after this, after this happens, there will be no more wars. Here, you know, like uh, I think it was Einstein that said this. I forgot who said it, but a World War III is fought with nuclear missiles, World War IV, we fought with sticks and stones. Yeah, well, yeah. guess what? World War III is the war to end all wars. Because yeah. this war is going to turn, gonna turn nuclear, nuclear, yeah. like it says in Isaiah 9 and 5. And after this, there ain't going to be no more nuclear wars. Yeah, Israelites going to be on top. Right. right. The Lord is coming to destroy wickedness, man. Okay, and this earth is going to be brand in righteousness. So it's no going to be no longer for Esau to be in rulership, man. Okay, and Esau is the one who ruled the, the nations with uh, with rigor, okay, and all the wickedness on the earth, okay. He's the reason why, you know, the Lord, the Lord brought wickedness upon the Israelites by Esau. But when the Lord comes back, He's going to wipe out wickedness. He's going to He's going to write the law, statutes, and commandments on the inside of the Israelites. So it ain't going to be no need for Esau. But He's going to have to play out His his um his judgment with a thousand years of slavery man okay that's the only reason he's going to be in the earth he's not going to be in the earth uh, uh uh bringing out his way making his way forward in the earth his way was forward no more in the earth yeah, wickedness is going to stop because it says uh, the wicked are on every side transgressing increasing so what's the opposite when the righteous are uh, on every side Righteousness is gonna increase. Right. You know, there ain't gonna be no more, um, no more wickedness growing. It's right. gonna be. Yeah, the Lord is gonna put a stop to it, like completely. He said, when the wicked uh, are in authority, the people mourn. That's right. But when the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. Man. Okay. And it said the the creature long for the manifestation, manifestation the sons of the Most High. The sons of the Most High. Yeah, okay, they can't wait. Yeah. 
Because they know this shit is wicked, all right? And now it's coming out. Now these nations are starting to say that, that this devil is who he is, man. They're starting to call him out, okay? They're not afraid anymore because they's like, we, we uh, have you become weak as we? Okay, because the Lord gave them that technology to be able to stand up for themselves and defend themselves against this big bully, which is America, which has gone across the world, spreading her democracy, which is witchcraft and demonic energy, man. There have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devours before them and behind them. But remember, this is the second death. This is where Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to judge the world, man, especially Babylon, aka Europe. Let's not forget, some parts of Europe, missiles are going to hit. Some part of Russia, missiles are going to hit. And this is. This is going to be a judgment, a mass judgment that the world haven't seen before, like the flood. You know? It's going to be a special, a special judgment for the children of Israel. Yeah. Okay. Because Esau and other nations, they're going to get their, uh, the rest of their judgment in that thousand years. Okay. Of building up the kingdom of heaven, man. But our people, they're going to get their judgment right here, right now. Okay. Fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yep. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. Yeah, once the missiles hit, once, once before it hits, you have a America as a city, right? Let's say a missile come to LA. See all the buildings standing up? But once, once the missiles come to hit, it's going to be a fucking wilderness. It's going to be a flat desert, man. Uh, the missile is what's going to make all of America into one big lake of fire. The missile is going to be what's going to make everything one flat desert, man. That great destruction. The scripture says they shall build, but the Lord shall throw it down. This is the last time you devils ever build anything in your life. Yeah. <laughs> the building is over. I mean, last time they built it for themselves. Right. Right. They're going to be in service to Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like we built up the White House. Okay, and, and didn't uh, didn't uh, dwell in it. Okay, we didn't rule from there. There's no, there's no so-called Israelite has ever ruled up in that house, man. Okay, Barack Obama was not an Israelite. Okay, so man, get ready for the destruction, man. This destruction is coming. That's prophecy. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And that's what we are here doing, bringing the prophecies to life, letting you know, so if you be of the elect, you'll be able to repent, man, and be saved out of it. Because Jacob's trouble is coming before the nuclear missiles, man. Okay? And he said it's going to be a time uh, like never before since there was a nation. So it's going to be worse than all these captivities, okay? The Lord has something big for his finale, man. His, uh, what they call it, the climax yeah. to the movie, man. Okay? It's gonna be waves and waves of judgment. First, Jacob trouble, martial law, concentration camps. Hey, that scripture that says that if a man fled from the bear and met a lion, yeah. that right there, and you escaped the lion and it went oh, off. You got home, you breathing and shit, lean your hand on the wall, and then a serpent got you. Man. You're done. You're gonna be done out here. See it, it up. Let's do something. Uh, you see it by palm tree right here? Uh, right? Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's over the palm tree right now. Which palm tree? Uh, the right third now. one. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah. It's uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 34. Verse 8, this is for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Mm -hmm. And the streams are, so uh, verse 9, and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch and the dust thereof into brimstone. And yep, the, hey, the controversy of Zion, man. These other nations think that they've gotten away 
with doing whatever they want to do, being able to consume us, you know, because all oh, the Lord left them, so we are able to do whatever we want to do. That's the day they look for. That's the day they look for. That's just like your child, he's eating cereal, and he's playing with the glass bowl. You telling him to stop playing with the bowl, and he keeps playing with it, and it falls, and it breaks, okay? Does your neighbor have the right to come in and punish your child? No, oh, man, if your neighbor come in and try to do something to your child, you won't do something to that neighbor, man. Okay? You don't have the right to put your hands on us, man. Okay? And even though the Lord let you do it, he's going to recompense you for it, man. Okay? The Lord said, I was a little displeased with the heathens, but they were poor. The the yeah, it's the like, you were supposed to do a limited amount of things to us, mm -hmm. but you done went overboard with it. That's why the Lord is justified in what he's about to do. And slavery wasn't the same type of slavery that they had here in America. That wasn't the ancient form of slavery, you know. Yeah, because it was, slavery wasn't so bad to where the man, what, bore the or what they call the awl, put the awl, the earring in his ear, to say he wanted to be his, his, uh, his, his master servant forever, for life. Okay. okay. And our people, they trust in oppression. We love Esau. We love being in this oppressive society, being down, being on the bottom. You know, they love being subject to payments. So that's why they're eventually going to take that all, oh, man, which is uh, today, the digital that, all. You know, digital yeah. all that. That's a MOTB, the RFID chip. You're going to show them, you're going to basically tell them all side that you love Esau, man. It's like you signing your, uh, your, your, um, you Almost like you signed yeah. your death certificate. Yeah. You know, because if you take that, Revelation 14, 9, 10, you know, hey, they got first row seats to the missiles. There you go. You, you probably know, got your own name on your missile. You got you got a per a, a, a personal ICBM warhead. Okay, because 200, 200 million, that's enough for 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 uh two thirds. Two thirds of America, just the American people, two thirds can get what 350 million people here in America. I mean, 200 million that's all that's two thirds, man. And Lord, right there, the Lord can do that, yeah. You know, right before you die, you see your name with a missile on it. A lot of people <laughs> die before that nukes even hit, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So it's knock that population way down, right? Exactly. Hey, but the Lord's gonna raise a lot of people up from the dead, yeah. It says, uh, uh. Uh, uh, the dead shall be uh, raised up. Mm -hmm. and you know, five and, uh, I think it's, uh, 25 or something right. like that. Yeah. It's a, uh, every man's, uh, every man's, uh, works are gonna be, uh, gonna be judged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some gonna wake, wake up to, uh, life everlasting, and some shall wake up to shame. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like we said earlier, man, that impact can make your lungs collapse. You're over there gasping for air, and then the fire just goes to go. Alright. Uh, this is this is gonna be a special death. Yeah. This is a special death that the Lord has created, man. Okay? For those wicked ass souls, man, yeah. that just don't wanna get it. Only God can judge me as niggas. Okay? That that speak against the word of the Lord proudly, that has pride against your house shot. Okay, pride against the word of the Lord, man. They have no humble in them. Okay, no fear of the Lord, you know. No, it's going to be the second death. Yeah, yep. it is going to be a special death. It's named the second death. Mm. Rival the first death. Mm. For the flood. Right? Hey, like Brother was saying, all Jakes might have a special mystery just for him because he said 2 30 shall pass through the fire. Yeah. You know, dealing with the mystery. Right. Yeah. Hey, that radiation is no joke, man. You know, uh, no, that says the one third is past the fire. Right. Oh, says the two thirds are going to cut off and die. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. it's a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Hey, go back to Isaiah. What do you mean? Yeah. It's, uh, back in Isaiah 34 and uh, 9, it says, And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall be become a burning pitch. Yeah, all the rivers here in America yeah. are going to be dried up. They're already drying up. They're already uh, in drought. But when these missiles come, they're going to totally destroy everything, man. Destroy all these rivers. It's not going to be a body of water, man. It's going to be like, like in a desert. Yeah. yeah. 
like it says, it's gonna be a burning pitch. What's gonna cause? What's gonna make a rivers and land burning pitch? What great fire is there that can do all that? Nuclear missiles. Verse ten, and it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever, from generation to generation. All right, because it's gonna go on for a long period of time. That's how long the fire is gonna continue to continue to burn. It's gonna yeah. burn for a long period of time, man. I believe you know? in the Revelation 14, it spoke about the other nations we can see. Right. Like, the smoke that's over the to the... Yeah, once the missile yeah. that caused that smoke, you could, you could, you could be from, a, from China, look towards America and see the smoke. Like, like, you ever seen a like, great, uh, uh, like, these fires in California. I remember one time I was in, um, I was in Camarillo, I was at a job, I was on the mountainside. And I believe the fire that I was, uh, they had a great fire somewhere, um, somewhere north. Was in another city. That was city. I was able to see the smoke, all right. And I was very far from that where that fire started. I was able to see the smoke, all right. That's how it's going to be with these other nations. When America's destroyed, you be, they will look outside, look towards America, and they're going to see the smoke. You know? Because America is a big country, right? So imagine a whole country on fire. You know, by thermonuclear missiles. That radiation is going to go out across the world, man. Because because the, the the world is in a bubble. Okay, it's not going to go out out of space. It's going to dissipate around the earth, man. Wow. Okay, it's like when Hiroshima. I'm not not Hiroshima, but uh, when they when that uh, when that Fukushima. So the car plant Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, the radiation came all the way over here to California. Oh, no, no, no. You know, and that was small. That's small compared to what America's gonna get. 200 million, man? Come on, man, that's overkill. That's overkill, man. I mean, uh, 200,000 would be enough. Shit, 200 would be enough. You know? That's why it says that everybody can walk to and fro like a drunkard. Man. Right. Because that, that's, that's a lot of missiles. That's a lot of women. Man, who knows how long the earth is gonna be rocking for? Man, that's how these nations, they gonna definitely be the Lord is once and for all is going to instill his fear to these nations. They're going to, they going to fear. Okay. They're proud right now because the Lord gave them some substance. Yeah. All right. We're doing the right uh, with that here. Uh, there's a little more. Uh, that's, that's, that's on point. Yeah. That radiation. Oh, yeah. This is going into radiation. Uh, bring out Revelation 8. Revelation 8 and... um. And 10, it says, And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven. This great star from heaven is the, is the nuclear missile, right? It says, Burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, right? It's called, the name of the star is called Wormwood, because what happens when a nuclear missile hits? We're going into it. It brings, it brings out radiation. Yeah. That's when it's going to defile the waters, the oceans, the rivers, contaminate, contaminate everything where the, all the sea creatures that are, that are in that contamination is going to die. People that drink that water is going to die. Okay? Because when you go into the word wormwood, right? The Greek word is. Obsithion. Obsithion. Which goes into wormwood, the name of a star which fell into the waters and made them bitter. All right, that, 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 that contamination, that radiation. All right, when, when, these, when these missiles jump, uh, hit, it's going to contaminate the waters. All right, so it says, And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, right? Became bitter, became contaminated. Okay, when you go to 2nd um, Ezra 16 and 1. That fire is going to cleanse the water, it's going to cleanse the land, the soil, and it's going to clean, cleanse the, the heavens. Man, that's a... The Lord is the master cleaner. <laughs> yeah. Right, uh, this is real quick. Second Ezra 16 and 12. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. Because what's gonna cause tsunami? Yeah, what have you the, the, the nuclear missiles. Stand because the earth what's gonna cause the earth to shake? The nuclear missiles. <laughs> This, this, this is the only shot. Watch out. This is the only shade. 
on the whole no, block. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Out of here. No, I need to stand here in the fucking shade. This is the only place on this block for five blocks. Look how red my There's hands are. Shade off. over there. Do you right, think this? Fuck there. you, motherfucker. You go over there, cracker. I'm not no fucking moving. Fuck that shit. I'm a Rosa Parks and like it's hot right here. You like this shit better than me. All right, so 16, I'm going to read up 1612. The earth quaking and the foundations thereof. What's going to cause the earth to quake? The nuclear missile. Hey, man, right, you can go to Isaiah 24 chapter, right? It says. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes are up also before the Lord and before the glow of his power, man, because the Lord is getting ready to judge this place. All right? What's going to cause the earth to shake, fishes, animals to die, people are going to people are going to die. You know? We'll go back to Revelation 8 and finish that in 11. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter, right? They were contaminated with that radiation. Nuclear missiles, man. The people that drink that water are gonna die, and it's gonna take the elect to come back. Are you Howard Shine and the elect to come back after the missiles come? And they're like John said, Tell me John you saw need to move this shit. New Jerusalem, Hello. and we're we're, we're hey, gonna I'm fix the earth, man. Can you move this so I can stand there? No, I don't want to touch your stuff. I need I the shade. The nation stand on the far so I can learn. Cause you gotta be at it. I need the shade so I can to learn. Survive, to Please. say, Babylon is falling. Yeah, you know. Hey, 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 hey! I want to stay in the shade. There's laughter too, brothers. I don't want water and plastic bottles. Get the fuck out of here, man. No, I will not get out of here. Oh, man. This is my neighborhood. I'm really glad you're here. And, um, We're not. Stop talking. No, I will not stop talking. Hey, keep the scriptures going. Yeah. Read the scriptures. Go back to Isaiah 34. Yeah. This is uh, the book of Isaiah 34 and uh, 10. It says, it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever, generation to generation. It shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. There's nothing to put out the nuclear fire that's going to take, that's going to hit America. These nations can't come to America to rescue. You know, there's going to be turmoil when the Lord drops the nuclear missile on Babylon. Verse 11. But the cornament and the bittern shall possess it, the owl also, the raven shall dwell in it. Uh, desert creatures, you know. It says, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. Yeah, so just like when the flood, man, you know, flooded this earth, man, you know, the Lord is going to, you know, uh, uh, if you see the map, you know, these different countries, it's like it, these different states. You know, you're not going to know which state is which. Yeah, the Lord is going to disfigure the, the land mass. You're not going to be able to recognize America. Like, if you flew over, you'd be like, what the hell? It's like uh, the Mississippi River. It divides, uh, it divides really the east from the west. Because west of the Mississippi, the radio stations and TV stations start with a K. Okay, in the east of the Mississippi, it starts with a W. Okay. Radio and TV stations. Because if, if you take a plane uh, right now, you can see lines and Oh yeah, yeah, you can see everything. You can see yeah, all that kind of stuff. It ain't going to be like that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine the Lake Michigan. You yeah. know, all those great lakes up here. There's a lot of lakes up here. You're not even going to be able to tell if there was lakes, there was right. mountains. Everything is going to be laid waste. But Desert. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. So okay. after a period of time, the animals are going to be able to blow up here, but that fire got to go up. You know how it says the fire, uh, uh, the smoke oh, hat. forever. Nobody. So as a period of time, you know. Nobody picked up my hat, slain in the yeah, street. The animals are going to be able to. They won't move to give me shade. How am I supposed to learn? Don't preach to the choir. Preach to me. I need it. You need to tell us what to do. We don't know what to do. Thank you. Yeah, we saw that Revelation 18 and 17. Stop letting him read. You ever heard you he needs to earn it. You ever heard of the Israelites? What? Have you ever heard of the Israelites? Uh, I it's, 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 it's a book in the Bible, right? Well, the whole Bible is about the Israelites, about us. Okay. Are you Mexican? Yeah. Yeah, you're an Israelite, man. You're an Israelite from Chapel Escort. 
Okay. That's your true identity, man. What's that again? That's your true identity. That's your life. I'm black. I'm part Negro. It's bad. They're Americans of the Israelites, man. The human genome project cost $11 billion to the 11 years for it. It took $11 billion and it cost $11 billion. And unequivocally proved that there is no such thing as race. We all derive from one one DNA strand family. Upon the wicked of our people. So the best thing you can do is to forsake this world. White people are just humans with a melanin deficiency. Come back to a human without melanin has a melanin deficiency. We are, we are not Negroes. We are not Therefore, Mexicans. doesn't get These are all as much vitamin D as they need. Put on us because the they're Lord, not protected from radiation. He, so the only gave the laws, statutes, and um, commandments to us. Weak and we muscles. Broke them. And he said, you straight hair. He said, if you break these, then he was going to bring Thank us you. back into captivity. Back into Did Egypt you? again with ships. He was going to curse us. He was going to curse us. And that's what Stay we're living green. under right now. The curses of the Lord. Okay? Because everybody knows we're the best people yes. on the earth. Everybody know that. Yes or no? Okay, nobody. Who are the boxers? Okay, you only got the Latinos and, and, and uh, so-called Negroes that's, that's real bo good boxers. I okay? asked you, but you didn't answer. The, the Bible says, do not use that's, signals. that's done good and decent on the earth is done by the Israelites. The Bible says okay. don't use signals. So if you don't give me a straight answer, yes yeah, or no, right, what am I supposed to do? Right. He said, is it recording? Yeah, yeah. He didn't say anything. Here's, uh, the book of Revelation 18 and 10. It says, no. standing afar off no. for the fear of his no. torment, saying, alas, no. alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, no. for in one hour is thy judgment come. Oh. All these nations of Babylon, oh, aka America, by the way of oh. missiles, man. They're gonna see it standing afar oh. off. Okay. Like this brother said, the radiation gonna cover a mass, a massive. I don't mess, want you to be like me. Radiation, if, if the word radiation comes from radius uh -huh. and heat, okay, because the radius. Way radiation travels travels in a circle. Uh -huh. Okay, just like you see when the bomb explodes, it goes out it's like for this. You. Okay, it's, that's how it's gonna go out Everything across the world, you. man. Okay, with the firmament you. being like we this, you. it's gonna get stuck at the ceiling wow. of the of the firmament and then start going around, man. Real black okay? men, they don't want me. They Nuclear fire? Push this is not here. atomic yeah. fire, man. What it said? Like, uh, it said that job, the man. first one was atomic was 15 uh, 15 kilotons and mm -hmm. <laughs> it's saying to 750 750 God, okay that's just like you having 15 dollars and then somebody else got 750 dollars okay yeah. all right let's wrap it up man yep yeah, why you love me bro, wrap it up man you really why can't you bro, bro, wrap it up bro hey low willingness is edifying and to the point and Y'all brothers keep doing, no matter what uh, wilds of the devil come, keep your armor and your shield up. And hey, giving all praises to Yahweh. If you want to tell me you gotta go. If you want to tell me you gotta go. Oh, oh, you gotta tell me you gotta go. Cause what you there for? You look like a badass.